show. show. RTM podcast show. To the world and them girls. Young Spree, Queen Ice Cream. I hear me. In Northwest London, born and raised In Kilburn is where she spent most of her days day. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all queening Then her and Mafiella did start diva twinning And young spray well, I was up to no good, no good. Always making trouble in the neighbourhood Did a one liquor ups and the judge didn't care He said I'm sending you to prison right now for two years I blew my mama kissing then when I saw tears Her face showed the limit of the pace she could bear If anything I could say the sentence weren't fair But I thought, nah forget it, your mom had no fear have no fear mama, I know I'm only 16, but I'm built for this, built for this. Uh, that's what yo, I pulled up to the jail around 7 or 8 and I yelled to the sweat box, yo fam link you later, welcome to Feltham, I was finally here, yeah. they took me to Swallow and it started from there, that's where it all started man, you're just like me, I'm just like you, I was a bad you too, bad you too. Mm-hmm. but you could change man. You can change, have faith, have faith. RTM, RTM, we did a move. Boom, welcome to the RTM podcast show. We done no special edition today. Um, me, myself, Young Spray, Big Bad Spray, and hey, with my co host, Cream, you know the vibes. Queen Ice Cream, you already know today. Obviously, I know we've all seen what's going on with um, Link Up TV and um, Rashid and all of this stuff. We've got big man Mike GLC, my yeah. brother here, yeah. to answer to all the um, all the questions. And you know, we're just gonna talk about this um, this thing, yeah. And um, thanks for coming and yes, definitely dealing with us. To be fair, because <coughs> obviously, no, you could have um, gone to the um, winners talking. They told you to come on there. And all that, but thanks for coming and um, Firmly. dealing with us. Yeah, no, but um, <clears throat> we're just gonna stay partial. We go where we love. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and I respect that. But um, yeah, we're gonna stay as partial as possible today. We're not here to. Um, I'm not gonna be here putting down anyone because I saw their. Um, I saw their episode and it just seemed like Rashid was being rude, and yeah, and people were just more focusing on putting my brother Dan, without actually answering to the um, relevant questions and whatever. And I was surprised because I know Rashid and I've never seen him in that light or be rude like that. You get what I'm saying? I know Rashid to be a cool guy from the dealings I've had with him. That's why when you came on my show, on our show, sorry, and you said that he was your brother and rah, 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 woo, 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 I left you because I thought, yeah, he's a cool guy. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So... Yeah, just we're just gonna start with that. Like, how do you feel? Is he still your brother, though? Uh, <laughs> no, guy, he was your brother before, innit? it? So <laughs> he, he, he went, nah, but that's one of the things he said as well. He said you went on Young Space podcast and he was saying he's my brother. We're not gonna. I'm gonna try and be as serious as possible today as well. <laughs> do you get what I'm saying? Carl? I mean, yeah. How did like what what broke down that relationship from you? calling him your brother the last time we met and it was a good project. I, I, I was looking forward to that project as well. Yeah. I, mean, <clears throat> if, I mean, if I kind of... If I kind of go to the beginning of, say, my relationship with Link Up, I mean, obviously, as you know, like, man, I've been in this game for a long time and I was here kind of before everyone came in. So when they did start kind of coming, Link Up would always hit me up and Rashid was always a person who would always always hollering me. And, you know, obviously, if I would have spoke about this earlier, I probably would have spoken a different kind of energy, but I've never felt that. I have never felt Link Up mm. for anything mm. in my life. So anything that's ever been done with Link Up, whether it was a behind bars, whether it was a project, anything, it could always be Rashid or someone contacting me saying, you know, like, we've got an idea. So that's always kind of been my relationship with them. Um, and this the mother project, which, which Rashid, you know, says he made or he created or he put together. Mother was actually a freestyle. I had the lyrics for my last sentence, and I um, spat freestyle in my office, and I put that freestyle up. And then one day Rashid phoned me and said, "Yo, I've got a producer that I can put you together with, and we can um, 
we can do this, we, we, can, we can make the song and I'd love to shoot a video for it and blah, blah, blah. So he put me with this producer, Sky. And Big up Sky, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah Sky, is, Sky. Come on, Sky's a good, good guy, <coughs> brilliant, beautiful. And you know, the music he made, he made was great. Mm. So he put me together with Sky and um, we started making this song. We made the song, Mother's Mother came out, it's been out for about 10 years now. Um, and then later on, years, you know, now recently he hit me up and said, let's make the song again. Now, obviously, that's off the back of a few other things. That obviously, he spoke about the U Channel documentary. And yeah, we can get we can get into all of that, but I'll just give you kind of like the, how I know them and what the relationship is. So when he phones me about this mother project, we start this mother project. And now we're here. Would you like me to fill in? No, because do you know what it is? I just want, I want the people to understand that you actually had love for this guy? I did. Because you don't like no one, yeah? I know yeah. you, in it. So for you to even say that, at that moment, you must have actually felt that you had some form of love for Listen, him. Listen, I've, I've, I've... Good relationship. I've always looked at him, like, like, like how we mentioned that day when Jamal passed. And, and you know, Joey vouch for this. I've got a text, you know, so I sent a sentimental text out to the two of them. So I've always kind of had, like, you know what I mean? I don't really fuck with a lot of people in this thing, and I don't. I don't. And then, again, I'd like to kind of address that, like, you know, Mike's BR stuff. I even call you BR. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, sometimes, I, I, I said, when this whole thing started, I kind of I kind of said to people, I need to start talking a bit more. Matter of fact, maybe I'll keep it a bit too PC to where people think they've got a perception of me. Mm. But it's not that Mike's bitter. It's Mike actually... Misunderstood, I, I would say. I don't like this shit. Mm. And I don't like most of the people in it. <laughs> like, and that's not an act. Mm. Like, respect, was like, come on, bro. Like, so, and this game kind of wants to force you to respect things you don't respect. And if not, and you're not a hater. And not to talk up. Yeah, I feel like if, as soon as you start to speak your mind or you talk up on a situation, you're labelled as bitter. There you go. Now, obviously, if you spend your life around, man, you know, come on, you know the reality. But that's neither here nor there. I'm not here to prove what, you know, I live a wonderful and great life and everyone's happy. That's everyone around me to determine, isn't it? So, the narrative that he, he needs to, I mean, we, I, I, do you know, let's just walk slowly, because we can get into why he's doing the narrative, what the purpose of the narrative is, why he needs me to be the enemy. You know, that's actually separate issues to mm. whether we was friends or not. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but you know, because even at that time, because I, I had a great relationship with Rashid. Mm. Done the behind bars, one, two, and three. But yeah, like me and Rashid, as far as I knew, I thought he was cool and that. But obviously after my little um, thing or whatever, I remember Fumes asked me to come and do um, one interview for him, yeah? I and I, I went and done that interview. Yeah. And then it was supposed to come out on the Friday after I'd done the interview, but this was already planned. But I think that same week, Giggs' album, that Big Bad album, was releasing on that um, Friday. So he's phoned, um, he phoned Fumes and said, oh, yeah, Spray's thing can't come out on that day because we're... So from that, obviously, I was in an emotional state as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I just went mad, obviously. Made Fumes send me the, um, the file for the thing and I just posted it on the Friday anyway on my channel. Okay. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So, <coughs> so from there... I just stopped liking him, <laughs> and I was getting mad at him, whatever. But he can't be. That's what I'm saying. That's how I was surprised at how rude he was, because I was thinking, wow, like what has changed, or who's uh, giving you these back? Because I, I don't know him like that, and I just thought you're being cheeky. I didn't like it. Know the truth. You get what I'm saying? I didn't yeah. like it. I like didn't he, like he, it. Even when because uh, he must. Be, sorry, but he must be smart enough. You must be smart enough for she to come somewhere and not have to be that rude. Like, you're not... Like, I could be rude, innit? I'm a rude boy, innit? I've grown up a rude boy. I didn't grow up a chief. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, no, but that's just how... I don't... I see when people just... All of yeah. you want to be rude and all that. Don't like that. And I don't know you to be that guy. So if I'm seeing a different... And everyone's there, everyone's laughing, Love, Doug, yeah. this one, like, you lot... You lot must be chiefs as well. Cause I can't have a chief come around me and act out of line without me paging him. Like, yo, calm down. Like... 
don't you get what I'm saying don't be you know, uh, no, no, no matter you, what how did you find that, that interview truthfully? like didn't you find it very condescending because yeah, when but, I, I watched it and I thought that Rashid was being very passive aggressive like he was throwing a lot of shots in if I'm honest if I'm, if, I'm, if, I'm, if I'm truly honest if I'm truly honest these are, this is one of the moments that's going to make, make people see like you're talking to a guy that was on the front of the newspapers in every every newspaper every magazine in the country you're talking to a guy who's had, who's had to go through Nate. The other, you know, we have to. So this type of energy, I was prepared for. It. In other words, I know the information I'm sitting on. I know what it is to stuff that we can't even fully disclose, but we yeah. know. So as we as we're pulling those strings, we know what his next move's going to be, because we know he's forced to. And even when I watch him doing what he's doing, like I said, my solicitor said something to me as you all heard today, which we're not going to repeat on here. Mm. So. When he said that to me today, it's like, that made perfect sense. That makes absolute perfect sense. Yeah. To the same conversation. So, the moves are, I'm not looking at Rashid. I'm looking at a man who thinks he could possibly be in a lot of trouble. Do you see where I'm coming from? Mm. Now, I know, I know this, and I'm, you see me, bro? I'm not an evil person, spiritually. I'm a madman, yes. I'm a madman. But I'm not a bad person, though. And that is my that is my known energy. We think my relationship with the man. But that's what surprised me with Rashid, because I don't know Rashid to be an evil person or a bad person. So that's why I didn't like. I thought, no, you're the good guy. You know, you're supposed to be the good guy. I know you to be the good guy. So where's all this bad boy energy mm. coming from? Do you necessity. understand? Necessity. Like it's necessity. I didn't get it. But then, but then, but then, in preview to what you what you heard today, when mm. we was talking about what we believe the actual real structure actually what's that actually happening it makes sense i'm not looking at him as an individual bro like this is what i want to make clear to people as well he needs to make this about me and him mm. this isn't about me and him i'm moving on from that bro he's one of many this is a as we know as we're discussing as we're realizing me and you realize something today crazy Mm. See where I'm coming from? Mm. That's another name. We you know him daily. No, but I ain't got time for that. That's what I'm saying. This is really the so, more podcast. We're gonna so talk shall about we stuff. shall we break it down for a little bit though, just for like everyone like just get into it a little what bit. What did I? So do you yeah. want to just give a little? So basically, in a nutshell, we started shooting this shooting this mother project. Mm-hmm. And when we started, so it's, I was actually going to play your mum as well. He was going to play my mum. Yeah. And definitely have the energy for it, just. But let's, if I rewind it a little bit. Like, sorry, sorry, let me get that coke and I saw you got some for D. If I rewind it, yeah, let's do it, let me do this. Where's the, where's the bottles there? Sorry, this is our um, last episode um, with D Lux. And, um, me and Spray was talking before the episode started. I'm like, you know, bro, let's do this in my house. And I want to thank Deluxe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> shocked, did it? I want to I wanna thank Deluxe for the time you spent doing this with my brother. I know where my brother was after. But do you know what he would be doing if he wasn't doing this? <laughs> like, fuck all the semantics. You know what he would be doing if he wasn't doing this, bro? Lining like, up for dinner. <laughs> yeah. So walking around in circles and all exercise. Like. So or <laughs> a lot of people are wondering where they're going. But you're saying, boom. Thank you. Thank you for doing this for my brother. Thank you for getting it to this point. Thank you for taking the time out and we thank you. So this is for you, my brother. Alright? Yeah. You know, Mike, come on, you know, Mike, you'll see, bro. You said you're, you're a fan. How, how do you think we move? This is how we move, bro. That's how we live, bro. But apparently, I, I'm full of hate. <laughs> Crazy. There it is. Cheers, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. We're going to drink that together before you go. All right. No, I'll, I'll, I'll go with some of the Hennessy. Well, yeah, that's it. Thank um, you. You don't drink anyway. You're not drinking, <laughs> I'll, I'll drink, yeah. I'll drink it. You're going to have one. You have to have one of them, though. I need to focus on this. <laughs> no, thank you, you, thank you, you Deluxe, thank you. Love my brother. Well, thank you for. <coughs> right. But yeah, let's break it down. Yeah, so, let's just a little right, back here. Just wait, a little... This ain't about um, putting. Let me just say, this ain't about putting down um, Rashid or nothing. Like I said, I, I've had 
good dealings with the guy. I just didn't like the rudeness of it all, and I just didn't think it was um, called for, mm. you know? Cause, Where's, um, I thought, yeah, yeah, so, back to the... Yeah, so mother, so Matt this Arena. project came about, so no, and, and he, he approached you about Yeah, but project. slightly before that, there was a... Um, slightly before that, when he was talking about the U Channel doc, mm. one of the things that... So when he follows me for this doc, he follows me saying he's put it together, the U Channel documentary, blah, blah, blah. And I won't lie, at first I was kind of, I was kind of, I didn't want to do it at first, and he knows this. And if you, <laughs> you again, you can ask DJ Ironic, you can ask School Charles, anyone. Ironic will remember when they was filming at Desk Golf, and I walked past, and Rashid used to tell me, I thought you said you couldn't film today. I was like, for fuck's sake, I was trying to duck it for ages, but eventually I shot it. And then when we shot this U Channel documentary, about a month went past, and I saw the trailer. So when I seen the trailer, I've popped up for like less than a fraction of a quarter of a split of a second and I phoned him like, bro, take me the fuck off of this shit. He's like, why? I said, bro, we're not doing this again because I just watched the, I watched the Graham original thing before, whatever yeah, it was. They always take the piss. Yeah, so all this rewriting the history and all everyone, to, I'm, I'm not interested because you know what, like I hear my name come up so much in podcasts about things and I hear people have so much opinions about my name and frankly, I'm tired of it. You know people say to someone, like, why have Mike got such an attitude? And I say to myself, well, if you sat back most days and heard people talk about you, and they don't know. I've sat back and heard other podcasts have whole debates and disrespecting my name. And I've sat there and watched this. And that this is calm. And this has been going on for years. So this is what, and they wonder why I don't like no one. But that's that. So anyway, I'm looking at it like, see this rewriting the history? I'm not on that. So just take me out of the book. I really don't give a shit. And that's another thing I want to get made really clear as well. This whole bitter about careers and all this shit. Bro. I, I have no interest in being within the confines of this entertainment business. Mm. I promise you. So, so he, he, cause on, um, on the, on the podcast, he made out like it was that you was upset about the trailer. So, so you're saying, no, no, so. I was upset about the trailer. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm saying, yo, take me the fuck off of this, bro. Mm. We're not doing this again. You see this rewriting the history shit? I'm not on that. You see that? Take me off of this. Keep mm. off of it. It's cool. No, Mike, it's not that. Really to tell you, show me, you know, you want to bought the letter to my girlfriend. I bet he was, you know, he's bugging me for a little while. Cause I'm saying to him, bro, here's the truth for the U channel. All the people that you keep on pushing to the forefront, in U Channel days, they didn't exist, bro. The biggest act on U Channel was me, Trung Family, and Kalashnikov. That was it. So, like, the rewriting, the pushing people to the forefront, it's been going on for years, and I've had to watch it for years. So I'm saying, just take me off of it, it's not a problem. Anyway, he changes the tune, he kind of says, no, we're not, no, I'm like, let's do this, let's do this thing. So, we kind of start engaging throughout that period of time. And then, he hits me about mother. Now, this is my family. He hears me about something. He hears me about this this song. And he says, you know what, Mike, boom, 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 we're gonna we, we should do mother. And he gives me this whole emotional spill. And on that very day I said to him, bro, if we're gonna do this, please let's not do this messing around thing. Like let's not do the thing where you disappear for a week, because this is about my mother. And that's what I mean, that's one aspect of it. The other aspect of it is creatively. I'm not making Shiro's story. Humbly, I'm not, I'm a creative actually, bro. Humbly, I know what I want to film. I yeah. know how to, I know what I want to do. If we're making a film, cool, I'll do the storyboarding. If we're, I'll write the script. We're planning, what budget are you working with? Where are we shooting? Where, you know, I know yeah. you ain't got, cause, you ain't, cause remember, producers do one you of two done things. You've drama before, so you've had experience. I wrote dub plate drama, humbly. Mm. I will, someone wrote it, but I done all the rewrites, mm. truthfully. Luke's but you just had experience. So I know what we're doing here, yeah, yeah. and I know what they're not doing. Because like, like, like producers come with two things, time or money. Mm. You're not coming with either, so I know we've got to work this out. It might be a thing where I put up half the door, but mm. rather than rather than be transparent with money, because you need to play a role. You can't have transparency if you've got to play a role, can you? So this is what Rashid does. So anyway, I was going to him from the beginning, bro, if we're doing this, please let's not do the fucking around thing. Because number one, I ain't got the, I ain't, my life is not set up for, I don't need this in my life. You're bringing, like, look at this wall, bro. Humbly, like, there's, this is, this is a light day. My life is planned to the T. If I'm out by an hour from, from morning, my day is fucked. And can I just say there's no dark and cold DVDs? I checked the whole room. <laughs> I checked the whole room, you get what I'm saying? I quickly had to check the whole room, like, just to make sure there's no dark and cold DVDs, so. 
Now pick up dark and cold. Now pick up dark and cold. But you know what crap got? When you said that, that's what I'm saying. That, 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 that level of dish with blood. Dark no, no, let, me, let, me, let me tell you dark and cold. No, 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 no. Fuck with that. No, but you don't know about dark and cold. Let me tell you dark and cold. Dark and cold. Mm. Run a shop in West End for over mm. 20 years, bro. Mm. Now, if you come from where man come from, do you know how, how much money you have to make, be making to run a shop before in West End? Before social media. All right, before social media. Check that. And they had their own clothing brand, which all the grand... All right. So when he's doing that disrespect, I'm looking at man like ghetto, like, really? Come about dark and cold. Let's not get any Fuck all that. So mm. they built an industry when there wasn't one. Every UK rapper, every American rapper when that came they? into this country had to go through dark and cold. Every last one. Yeah, the Fight Club youths went too much, went to America, when Prof- mm. Professor Dill got his deal, they went dark and cold, they linked me. So my point is, even that level of disrespect there, which is fine, and, and what people don't, all that, that, yeah, that DVD that Dark and Cold made, I was the first person in Europe, including Pop Acts, to have a DVD, bro. That's what Dark and Cold done. We set the blueprints for manufacturing after that, bro. That's what Dark and Cold done. Anyway. You know, it's just on the thing of, yeah, yeah cool. you're just living in the past. and mm. But that's what they say. See a lot of people that can't live in the past. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they No, I noticed that's what they always oh, you, yeah. live you can't live in the past. Just because you can't live in the past. Yeah, no, because in the past, it was mad for you. Yeah, that's true. Do you yeah. get what I'm saying? In the past, it was mad for you. That's true. Like, cause the, like, like, like he wants to say, it's like they live in the metaverse. Like everyone from man's living. era or whatever. Like all these, there's a lot of people out now that you lot believe in and you lot think of this and that. But they were still around when mum was out here really, you see me? So, yeah, but... So, yeah, so... So when... So as we... He says, what we say? Well, that's what I don't want to do. I don't want to trail off into other shit. Yeah, don't be trailing um, off into other shit because they're going to think that's a spliff, but go on. <laughs> so then... Um, so anyway, we start, we start this process. We start, we start this process. Now, that whole thing about Mike phones me. Bro, I wake up... I wake up at four o'clock in the morning, every morning, without fail. I do all my creative stuff before eight o'clock. Like, how do you think I've produced three comics? Mm-hmm. How do you think I've learned how to draw? I could draw a, a pace. I could, this takes me, how long? 10 minutes. Like, to get to that level of expertise, I need to be working these shifts, bro. So my days are mapped out like this. I do art in the mornings, and if you notice, I might pop my head up, pick up my phone, my phone, huh? Yeah. Hey, start the day again. Now I phone a couple of people because I know so I might phone business label, boom, boom, boom. Then I get back to artwork until 11 o'clock. Then I have what I call a devil's hour when I phone people I don't like. Straight down. My whole camp have it. So, and then... Why do you phone people you don't like? Because we have to phone people we don't like. For it's what? part of life. For, no, but for, for business. What? For business, for money. Oh. But only people I don't like, it's everybody. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. The, people, the people I love are phone in the mornings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How cool. do you feel about that, about the early rising thing? I get up mad early. I get up early. And if I have a project... Huh? Yeah. I get up early. Or I could go to sleep at 6 in the morning and I'll be up by 8. Yeah. Anybody, anybody, that, that, just runs, of my body. Like, anybody that goes to work or runs a business or, or, go, or, goes, or, to, yeah, yeah. Go, or goes to school, yeah, anything, you normally but, get but, up but, really, but, really early and before... Do you understand See, when he started doing all that, I'm not even trailing to that. Because me and this guy... Listen, now, when I came to see you last time, we came with a book Meditations, didn't we? Me and this guy, when I'm looking at Rashid, the most hurtful part, you know, actually... Mike phoned me early before and I answered my phone. Come on, but you know what? Let's just, this, Vice versa. Like, the hurt, most hurtful thing was like, so imagine you sit down with a man and you and a man reason about how we live our lives. Because at the end of the day, how can I put it? I'm following it, but my daily routine is set in stone in philosophy, bro. I'm following philosophers like Marcus Aurelius and Nishi, bro. That's, I'm actually living to that rule. That's how you work your day. Yeah? So when we're doing creative stuff, Rashid, when you phoned me or you messaged me, it was at the same time. And I responded. That was what, that was called communication. That has nothing to do with what the breakdown was. The breakdown was, if I message someone and two weeks later, he's read the message and hasn't replied, there's something not right here. And if I know that you're going to do this, and I've asked you not to do it before, then we've got to bring this to an end. So let me get to, let me, let me get to the point here. So... We start doing this project, and about we get to about week one. And week one, if I message you and you don't reply back within a day, I don't want to. There's no one in my life, like anyone around. He can tell you that. They can all tell you that. Anyone, can, I don't live that way. I don't even have that energy in my life. Yeah. Why? Why would we entertain that type? Why, why is anyone in life we need to talk to so much that we need to look back at our phone a day later and say, "Have <laughs> you got back to me? Are you crazy? I'm a fucking adult, bro." Like the record label, like one, I get off the phone with a label and a mum would say to me, bro, who you talking to the label? Yeah, 
You can't talk to me like that. Of course I can. It's my life. I've got things to do. Hmm. I haven't got time to wait on you getting back to me. In what world? And this is the problem with these guys. They believe that the world they live in has value. Like, what I'm doing now, most of it I've already known I could have done. They don't under, this is why people don't, they don't understand me, bro. Mm. They don't understand the world that they have value has no value to man. So for some crazy reason, they believe that Mike wants something from the music. Mike, so, we're sitting here, aren't we? Mm. There's nothing the music game could ever give me back. And we're going to talk about the CD funny stuff that you lot was trying to talk about. And I'm gonna, there's a reality I could really say that would upset people, but Rufus is my brother and I love you forever. But I don't know how people thought their music was getting up and down the country. What do you think? <laughs> So what would we do? So it's what I didn't want to do. I didn't want to wear myself up. Mm. So that's going on for about a week. He doesn't contact me back. So I send him a message. I remember I'm walking in the gym. I'm in the sur- the rolling doors. Bro, let's leave this alone. I think actually one of the messages I posted. One of them was one of the posted on Instagram. I said, bro, let's just leave this alone. When you get the time to do this, let's get. And it's no problem. There's no problem with that. Let's mm. leave it alone. He hits me back next morning. At about six o'clock, <laughs> <laughs> saying, "Nah, Mike, it's not that." Boom, 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 boom. All right, cool. Now, if you're around me, I know. If you're around me, bro, you know me. I know I live like this, and I don't want to overemphasize. But anyone in this room, bro, money gets made in the margins. Huh. Time, money is made in time to survive. Like people can criticize my career till the cars come on, but sometimes they forget that. Like I'm ten years before everybody. Yeah, because that's one of the things you were saying. He's like, oh, you know, like, like to say you're bitter because you, you never had success. But my thing is, what like success, what is, success? is success? Exactly. exactly. What is it's success? An individual. Bro, if you look on, if you look at that bookshelf, mm. you're going to see the definition of success, mm. and it definitely doesn't correlate with what they're talking about. Do you understand? So we're cool. I don't even. That's not even the issue. Because mm. success is, I don't want to talk dumb shit, but bro, when I sketch something that I know people. Bro, I can draw a person's jewellery collection in value. Mm. Now, mm. I'm drawing pictures that are worth eight, six bags a piece. The last two went for that. I feel also Can't like, believe, fuck it, fuck all that. Bro. I feel also like there's creatives and there's people that live off creatives. So I feel like when they're two types of people, it's going to be hard to explain it to them anyway. Do you understand what I'm saying? You see, by, 12, even... you see by midday, yeah. I look at half of the day gone by already. My alarm goes off at 3 p.m. every day. You see, when that alarm goes off at 3 p.m., that's that to me, if I ain't had everything done by then, because that's even to me like you're, the end of my day, that's at 3. Because you're a mother and a creator. Do you understand what I'm and saying? And someone with a real life. So, to me, at the beginning, if I've got something important happening, I wouldn't even choose to hit anybody up at 11 or something. That's late to me. But then Do you we, understand but, what but, I'm but like saying? I said, but no, but, no, but truthfully, look, I, I think we've been talking about that for too long, because truthfully, that, it's not even real. What you were saying there is not real. Right. So even talking about that, it's not, it doesn't make sense. It's not real. So, huh. but what the, hurt, the hurtful part about that though was like, the way I'm talking here, like, I'm talking with this guy like that. Like, I'm sending you books. Like, we're, 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 we're gelling, like, bro, this is how you, because remember, I, and bro, he's having money problems at the time, he's moving, there's all types of shit down, and he's asked me about, Mike, how do you do X, Y, and Z? And we're, we're reasoning. But he's saying, that's, he's saying that's why he's hurt. Because he thought, did I mean? Because why did you go no, no, he's come hurt. out with him on, yeah, he, on social media? He's hurt because of the result, but we'll get mm. to that in a minute. So like, so you know, that's down. So then, so then any time, but then any time we was doing this, this whole thing, if there was ever a period of time I felt, bro, I'm not honest, he, he got the page. Now, we had the last final talks. Because I'd always been kind of iffy, because if you know Rashid, you have to be iffy. Because this is about my mum. And even when I was speaking to Ice, Ice can come come out for this. This is about that's why we never solidified who was doing the role. Remember how long it's taken us to solidify who was going to play my mum? We can't organise the casting yet. I don't know what this. I don't know what this guy's doing. Mm. So I'm I'm doing my best to kind of work to a producer who's not talking budget or time. I'm doing my best. You know what I'm saying to you? So and then again, this is about my mum, and I'm not making some shit. So I'm doing all I can do. And like I said, I could show everything. I'm right. I'm doing. I'm storyboarding. I'm writing the scripts. I'm. I'm going mad, I'm waking mm-hmm. up at four, and this has to be right. And when you hear what it, you've heard how it sounds, mm. I've already had four offers on it now, you hear how they're talking about it, it's crazy. Mm. So I'm making sure this is right. You get me? I'm making sure this is the best piece of work I've ever done. This is what I'm doing. You see, when I started, and, that, and that's another, another trajectory, we're going to get into that, like what I do here. I look inside myself and find my talents, I've got no other mission here. Mm. None. Not to make money, not to be popular, just to keep on finding my talents, that's mm. all I want to do. So this was a moment where like, yo, this is that moment. This is my life. 
I can define all my talents. I can storyboard this. I can write this. I can cast this. Mm. I've run casting agencies. I, I draw. I, this is this was that focus and all that. I know this guy's a bit wonky, but if he can just stay on track for a little minute, we can get this done. Mm. And I don't even mind giving him the credit for it, like his piece of credit, because I really know he's not going to get that because you haven't done nothing. The music's been provided by the producer. You never paid for anything. You haven't paid for anything. You've never done anything towards this project ever. Mm. Mm. So this is my project. But you know what? And I said, and I said this. You see me, bro. I, I live like this. I like. If a man even gives me a belief, I'm gonna honor that. So the fact you even phoned me and said, "Yo, let's do this," you've now installed me with a belief that I didn't have before. So even if I'd done the whole thing by myself and I just used you to pick up the camera, it wouldn't matter because you installed the belief. Mm. That's where I'm at with this guy. You, you know what I'm saying? You in agreement as well. Cool. So when we so, so this process started, and you know it's it's going on, and you know she can vouch for all of this. And then there's one, he's supposed to be coming to the studio, he doesn't come. Then one final day he comes, we have a big sit down and reason. And the truth, he gets like, like the song was finished, we never finished. Remember you heard it? Mm. And I still have to go re-record all, all, all the bits? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's as far as we've got. So, we sit down, we go, we have this moment, we're going to get this done. And I'll be honest with you, there's time, in, on that day, there's a conversation that we had that now, at this point, makes perfect sense. But we, we're speaking, anyway, after that, let's get this done. But he's going through this thing, he's shooting this process thing. And I can tell something's not going right. What process? This new program that he's got out. And I can tell that something's just not going right. Because now he's shooting this, he's got less time, he's more hurried. He's just not in, a, in, a, in, in the same space that he was in before. It's like what D-Lux done. <laughs> <laughs> so, then, so then when we get to the point where it's like, all right, now you're just kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm busting my balls here. I want to get this project together, but you're, you're taking the piss now. Then the final straw was, bro. It was a day I woke up, I've got this project, and I'll show you the screenshots are there. I've sent the guy an essay. So what are you talking about phoning, phoning off his phone? No one ever rang off his phone. But I'll tell you what I did do. I sent you the emails you were supposed to get. I sent you the information. I sent you the scripts. I sent you all the shit that you were supposed to get for that day, for that project that we was working on. You feel me? Mm. Boom. There was one day I sent him everything. So the scripts we had done, the storyboarding, everything. I'd been up like half the night getting the shit ready because I need to... Cause remember, we're working on the timeline. As far as I, I knew, you're talking timelines and all that. Mm. So I think I'm working to a timeline. So I'm trying, And I know I ain't got that time in my day. I've got things to do, bro. Like, I don't know what... That's what I'm saying. I don't know all the rappers you talk about, but some of us don't rap for a living and we still make our money. I've got things to do. Humbly. Mm. Humbly. Good money mm. to do. Be humbly. Mm. Get me humbly. But I've got Humbly. things to do. So I need to get this, I need to get this stuff to you so you can crack on anyway. Mm. I send him this whole f- stack. The guy opens it, doesn't reply. Mm. Cool. Couple of days pass, no reply. A week passes, still nothing. And, I, and remember, all this time I know Mike, because you, you know where we are. You know what mindset we're in. You know that we're trying to go right when we used to go left you know this yeah, uh, yeah, man sitting there like I don't want to I, I don't want to I don't want to because that was one of my that was one of my things with that because I don't know about you Kim, but, no, but that's what's hurtful about when, what I, was, when I was watching it mm. and he was like uh, you ain't seen it yet in it but when I was watching it and he was like oh yeah Mike was phoning me like from whatever hour yeah, bro, so you was, was up though yeah you was awake yeah and so then forget wait wait sorry Mike mm-hmm. forget that he was phoning you and it was early you was awake mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? And that's, it's not like he said, oh, he phoned me and he woke me up out of my sleep. And mm. Do you get what I'm saying? He was fo- so a man's oh, phoning you. A man's phoning yeah, you. Yeah, taking on all that. You haven't just, even answered. No, what that no was, but see, with me, I'm just saying with me. Story. Mm. With me, no, he sat and that will get story. me mad. Yeah. No, that's no, part of the story. Yeah, it will get me mad. Do you get what I'm trying to say? No, what I'm trying to say is all that part, that's the concocted story. So when he said that he was ringing him on WhatsApp non-stop for over a nap, that's all lies, what he was saying then. If I ever wrong that guy, if I ever rang this guy, well, I didn't know in the you morning. can't ring. That you can't. He won't hang up unless you hang it up. See, so he's ringing for an hour. If I ever rang this guy in the morning, why it, for that though? It would have been to say. If you rang him for an hour, why for that? <laughs> why for that? If you rang him for an hour in the morning, why for that? If I ever rang this guy, it would be to say the emails being delivered. It would be to say the scripts are there. It would be to say the storyboard's done. Like, bro, I'm a fucking adult, bro. Like, this is what I'm trying to say. When I'm listening to this guy, I'm looking at him like. Hey, yo, Mar- Marcus, you know me like that? <laughs> you know me like that? You know like that? You know me to ring off a man's phone and, and, mm. and come on, bro. That is a wife for that. If you're so like, for an hour in the morning. So anyway, so oh, but that's part of the story. He needs that to be part of the story to lead to the reason. Come on, you know mm. So anyway, when, um, when that happens, it gets to like, but in this time, I can't get hold of him. And when he talks about like, Mike can get hold of me, you dickhead, if I could get hold of you, you wouldn't be here. Like, 
I can't get all the way and I don't want to involve Joey at this point because Joey's not do- he's not on the Bro, team. Joey was your bridge. Why no. are you switching on Joey now as well? Check it. I don't want to Joey was cool before. I don't want to involve with Joey. Joey. Got Joey but though. the maddest thing, Joey knows all the truth. Joey could 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 end this whole thing now. You know like that just by opening his mouth, but that's not something. Forget all that. But Bro, that's I'm not gonna like, believe you switched on Joey. At that point, no, Joey's worse than him. At this moment in my head, Joey's worse than Rashid. Joey's cool, Why you man. say that? Because Joey knows the truth. Yeah. Joey's cool. Does that make sense? Bro, bro, he's batting for that. You know when he's just batting for that? I'm not even, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not even getting into that. And, Allow Joey. But even Tadis knows the truth. Like, fuck it, it's what it is. So, but, so, I have to, so, so I'm messaging Tadis all this time. Like, bro. And I don't want to get Joey, but I'm messaging like, bro. I don't want to really message my man like that. Bro. Yeah, allow Joey, man. But, bro, what's going on? What's going on? He still ain't got back to me. He still ain't got back to me. So obviously, by, by week one, and he hasn't got back to me, I've already scrapped this in my head. It's gone. You know what I'm saying to you? But now, I want to see what type of dickhead you are. So this is why I'm saying silly stuff to Tadis. Like, yo, tell my man to phone me now, you know, we got, we got problems. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, because it sounded like a bully or two. No, I'm telling my man, because I know at this point, I know he's not phoning me. At this time, it's always dead. Mm. It's been over a week now. Okay. You know what I'm saying to you? At this point, it's like, you know what, bro, fuck this. Tell my man to phone me, tell him to phone me. Now, now, now the attitude changed. Because he's already said that he called it off because of... When he's, he's called it off after I threatened Tadis. Okay. Does that make sense? He said he called it off after you put money on his head. No, I threatened Tadis. I threatened Tadis like, yo, tell my man to do him something if you don't phone me. Yeah? Okay. Then Tadis is hit. Then Tadis is sending him. Then he's phoning me like, yo, Tadis said, 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 yeah, bro. And now we started arguing. So when we started arguing now, I'm saying, yo, hey, what, further one, take me off of that Channel U documentary. And he's talking about it. I said, give me some money. And that's where we get to the phone call. That's where we get to the money on the head talk. I said, Fairmo. And now he's talking like, bro, what, you need the money? You're a tramp. I said, bro, you're a dickhead. Remember to take that money and put it on your fucking head. Mm. And that's where we get to the video. So now, that's his reasoning. Feel me? But it's cool. Whatever that, that's whatever that is. I'm a dickhead for doing that. That was stupid. That was immature. It was whatever. It was, I'm a dickhead. Yeah. yeah. I can't believe sort of, this one. But... This but it weren't a 10 stack as well. That, it weren't a 10 stack still. You said there's fivers in there. Probably, I don't know what the fuck it was. Like, it wasn't a 10 stack. It was in the drawer. But all I know, and I, and, and I would like to also state that that's, that money comes from my artwork that happened to be hanging around the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to say that. <laughs> so, <laughs> it weren't a 10 stack still. No, nah, but it, it was like five top heads. Some men, some, some. But, but, top but, head. And so for the record... Yeah, that, listen, don't even make me start being an arsehole. It was another yeah. drawer. But anyway, fuck Yeah, yeah I saw, I saw yeah, you open the other drawer. You open the other drawer to show him that there's, there's more. Yeah, yeah fuck with that, fuck with yeah, that. He's so in the You open the other drawer like you realise, hold on, this ain't even the tenant. <laughs> I know you knew, you get me. Even when you said there's 10 there, you knew. You knew there were 10, you get me. Like, hold on, let me open. I'm, re- I'm not even supposed to do this. I know you, I know where my nose is. I'm not even, you're not in this ain't even 10. I've got to show you there's more, you get me? <laughs> <laughs> but he... But it will come from artwork and there's no, artwork he, available, yeah, there's books. The way he's putting it out, <laughs> no, but the way he's putting it out, yeah, yeah, come on. the way he's putting it out there, I just want to, he's obviously not taking it seriously. Because that's why he's joking it out. Yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to say? If you was taking it seriously, you wouldn't be joking it out. No, but it's, out. Just, it's just the story he needs to conduct to get to the situation to why I'm raging. That's mm. all that is. Every bit of information leading up to me um, talking but about... But it was funny, though. You said there's a fivers in there. Yeah. You know, like, don't be saying there's a ten stack no, and there's fivers in there. What cracked me up is... Your ten stacks are fivers. Yeah, like... what cracked me up is train drivers were laughing. But anyway... Um... <laughs> Doug... I don't know, but train drivers and workers and nine fivers were laughing. Work I, mean, I don't know, just laughing oh. at that money. Like, <laughs> Pound sterling can't work on the chain. I'm just saying. Which one of them works on the chain? I'm just saying. Man can buy one. This is an RTM podcast. Who works on the chain? I'm, I don't know who works on the train. I'm, I'm just saying. Find this out. This Boom, I'm just know, I just know there's nine to fivers in that this room. This is slander. But anyway, sex in on. But but we. There's nothing wrong with nine to five. No, nothing wrong. But that's what I'm saying. But nothing wrong with having fivers in the stack. Money, our money. Yeah, don't be loud. I don't care. I don't care. When I mean I don't care, I don't. I'm broke. Mm. I'm fucking broke. I've got no money. I'm broke. I struggle it, but I don't care. Mm. Mm-hmm. No, but you know that like, alone. No, but he, you know that the five is in the stack, though. So <laughs> you have to give him that one. 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 Now you have to yeah, give him that one. Yeah, but five is coming at hundred rap. Now you have to give him that one. You have to give him that one. I even I bust a gig. I'm not even gonna lie. You're my mate. Cool, cool. Like, cause I have to pause it. Oh, like, there's fivers. 
Do you get what I'm saying? And that's when I clocked this eight, a ten stack here. Yeah. <laughs> you, <get, laughs> you get what I'm saying? But he nearly did draw me out, though. <laughs> the, 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 like, you got to beat was, him up, you know? The hand was reaching. Like, like, you got to beat him up. Now, you definitely got to beat him up. Listen, listen, let, let's just stick to what we're saying. Yeah, yeah, let's just stick to what we're saying. Let's just stick to what we're saying. They don't want us to circus. No, not even. I forgot they didn't want you to come on it. No, listen, listen, listen. No, no, hear what I'm going to say. On that no, no, I don't got to beat him up. Every bit of aggression I had for that youth was that was at that very moment that he's using. Fam, if you don't punch him in the face, I might punch you in the face. Blood is mad. But yeah, he's being, um... being too rude. He's being too rude. You should do that, you should do that. You, brother, no, you're being too rude, brother. <laughs> but listen, 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 listen. I'm telling you this. All that aggression, all that, that... Let's just get back to the point. Like, that's what I'm trying to say, like, none of that is reality, so none of it registers. I'm just looking at the story. Like, what is the story that needs to be created here? So he, he has to create this narrative. I have to be angry. I have to be. And like I said, we've got a belief now of the real, real reason why. But we don't even think it's for our audience, bro. If I'm truthful, but like I said, that's another, that's another something else. But like, so anyway, we get to the point where um, that all that happens. So now we're raging. And that's why, it's, that's why we said the first time I go on, the, on, on, on Insta, that's that. So now I want to blow up the documentary because now he's, I'm saying, bro, take me off the documentary. And I, you know, <laughs> I'm going to fuck this up now. Mm. So that's where I put the, the, the Insta at. Like, yo, boom. Because remember, I, but I, did you want him to take you off the documentary or did you actually just want to get paid? No, I wanted to fuck you out. I wanted to fuck up the documentary. Well, what was you, the, you, you no, I wanted you to fuck up the documentary. No, yeah. I wanted to fuck up the documentary. I know he's not going to pay me. Because mm, that's what he, he was like, you wanted money for it. No, you didn't I, want him to come off it. No, this I mean, is, no, no, I wanted him to fuck. That's why I've done that. Like, mm. two bags. Are you stupid? Mm. Come on, we give that to the youths. Like, that's what I wanted him to do that. Because mm. I, I want to fuck it up. Because I know this is his baby. I know his whole essence is right. Still coming this. up. Cool, whatever. Uh, 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 it's not official. Thing. It can't be official. I'm not on it. So I know this is his baby. I know this can't come out once I do this. I know it can't be official. I know I can't do what you want to do with it. That's why I'm doing that. Because he's got this, Chung family on there. He's got North Star on there. Let me, let me, let me finish what I'm saying. So, so, when he, so when he starts doing all that, that's why I'm doing that, to blow up that. Now, I know that... See, Rashid, he, he likes to play like he's a, this fair person. Cool. The only thing that hurts Rashid are things that hurt Rashid. So you can't chat to Rashid. Rashid will fob you off until something affects him. Mm. Like, if you tell Rashid, bro, that's not right. Hmm? What are you angry for? Anything you tell him, he can fight. He's Mr. Link. He's been Mr. Link. Blood, he's been a nerd around savages half of his life. He knows he, he, he's mastered this. Mm. To fob man off and keep it moving. He's mastered. He's a master of it. It's mm. the, 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 hand, the sleight of hand, whatever the fuck is. Mm. So nothing hurts him. He sits down, he's, 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 he's professed this. So I'll, I need to hurt him, bro. Because you're taking a fucking... Yeah, you're taking piss. him out of character. So... When I do the the, 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 the the U channel thing, I know. I don't, bro, when people say about Gano, I don't give a fuck how you lot see me. That's something I want to get clear with these man as well. I don't give a fuck how none I want to see, man. I need to get really clear. I might need to keep on talking about my career, this my career. My 10 years before everyone, I'm still here. And none of you can't stir up better than me. So, mm -hmm. he's fucking, he's doing, he, 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 I know this is the only thing that's going to hurt him. I know that. So that's why I do that. So, now he's hurt. Now he's out of shape. So now I know he's going to do the videos. And the funny thing is, there's a girl that's working for me at the time. And as soon as I did that, I said to her, grab the videos. She's like, why? Well, I said, grab them. And as she's grabbing them, I swear on my mother's grave, as she's grabbing them, he blocks them. Mm. Caught him. So, I caught so him. the blocking came directly after you done your... No, but they, no, they was off. They was down. So as she's grabbing them, she's saying, they're not all downloading. So we've all, they're already in the, they're already yeah. in the zip file. But she's saying, they're not all downloading. This is after you went on and spoke about the yeah. documentary. Yeah, but I know he's going to go for them. Yeah. I know I know what this cow was going to do. So he's going to go for them. So now that happens. So now I'm like, yo, bro. So before that, I've already preempted. Yo, bro, make sure I get my videos, you know? Mm. Like, I'm preempting this. Make sure I get my videos, bro. And that's when you see the first set of voice notes. Mm. Make sure I get my videos, bro. But I already, pre I already know about the digital stamping because I already remember seeing the behind bars on Spotify. I can't remember when it was, but it was there. The but he bars. mentioned something like that on the show because you know when he was speaking to them, he was saying it will most probably be blocked by the time this comes out anyway. Mm -hmm. so like, do you remember? Do so you like, when he said something so like, like that? I'm, so, so, so I'm going through all this. So, so I know he's going to do this. So when he says, so I know he's going to do this, I'm going through the videos. And then... That, got, you know, that goes on, I get, then I don't, that rage goes on for about a couple of days, like I'm getting mad mm. for a couple of days. Like, bro, where's my fucking videos for about a couple of days? Then he finally sends them to Sky. 
sends a big zip file to Skype, but it's the original videos. So Joey, yo, I think Joey's grabbed them. And this is where a bit of a mistake's been made. They've grabbed the original files. So they've, I've got all the original files. Because like, obviously I've had copies of those videos before that I've grabbed, but they're not the original files. So I get, I get all the original files. So that's about a day that, that that's about a day that takes. When I go to up, and if you see all the voice, the voice notes that I put up, you'll see me say, Joe, I'm gonna go and upload these. The digital stamp you better be off. I go to <laughs> Yeah? On to Joey, you know. <laughs> yeah. I'm laughing because those ones what you uploaded between you and him talking was so funny. Yeah, so I'm saying, it. I'm saying, Joey, the digital stamping better be off. I'm gonna upload these today. Everyone. So when I upload them, this is when I see because I've got the same files, member. Mm. So this is when I see the base end. So I'm like, what the fuck's this, mm-hmm. Joey? And I'm not just seeing it on my behind bars. I'm seeing it on the scorcher tree. I'm seeing it on the. The sports team was, again, they never shot, they never made, they never had nothing to do with. Mm. They only uploaded it, and it was on their request as well, not mine. Joey said, let me, let me do that. I'm seeing my other tune, Hope Still. Again, not theirs, not theirs. Again, copyright to this company. There's another, I'm seeing Mother, but Mother we managed to get back, and I'll tell you why. So, I'm like, Joey, what's, what's going on here? Why is all my copyright? So, not, so it's told me two things. It's told me all my songs are copyrights been given away, and they've been monetizing it. Remember, we've always had a relationship with Link Up for promotion. And yeah, there's a level of monetization, but you wasn't consulted, you wasn't told mm. at all that your copyright was given away, mm. not your songs being monetized. Because if your song's just being monetized, it says we're collecting your copyright on yeah. behalf of. Yeah. No, they own my copyright in my back end. Joey, what's going on? I don't know, Mike. We don't, I don't know, I don't even know who that company is. You need to pause there just quickly. So basically what you're saying is, if I upload my video with Link Up TV, yeah, they literally would can just take my copyright mm. and just change mm. it over without my knowing. No, it's gone. It's never yours again. Even... It's never yours again. Mm. Once you've got no link up, that copyright's not yours again. Unless you have a situation where that might be digital distribution, management, record label. Mm. See, link ups think I don't see there's certain parts it's hard to get into because certain parts you can and certain parts you can't. Because we're looking at like this might be bigger than what we think it is. My lawyer's rubbing his hands, but I'm telling him certain things right now, he can't believe this. They're yeah. laughing at that as well, the lawyers too. <laughs> they can keep on laughing till the cars come They can't on. believe he keeps saying this. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I swear they can't believe he keeps... He's right. like, get the lawyers, I've got my lawyers. I know, I know. we want to see Yeah, them. he's like, oh, 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 by the way, by the way, by the, by the way, as we, uh, as we do that, as <laughs> he's like, I've got my lawyers, now listen, get listen. your lawyers to talk to my lawyers. He can't believe As we do that. He can't believe he keeps saying lawyers. He can't Listen, believe. as we do that, you know, I've got notes on from him here. One of them is, he's, he's, he wants me to make this very clear that when he's talking about lawyers and where's the emails, mm. he's, this is the note. Your lawyers are... He can't believe it, though. Your lawyers are in the process of, of, of preparing a preliminary notice claim to base at 79 and only their side, and only once their side of things is clearer, will we be able to contact Rashid? And Rashid knows this. So basically, we need to, we need to get a base first and ask them exactly what the scenario is, ask them exactly what's going on, what the deal is, and etc. And hence why we think Rashid's really doing the campaign. We think it's more to... Bad. Anyway, yeah. Mm-hmm. So they want to contact them and then we get, and then we get the information back, and then we will contact Rashid. But as you know, Rashid is not registered to any companies, none. And that's another. That's something else which is turning out to be the other thing that. But yeah. So to back to this, as it is, I go to upload. Um, I'm telling Joey, Joey, yo, bro, can I? When are these things coming off, bro? He's telling me it's been done. Mm. When we sent them the email, they're going to take off. But Joey don't even know who this company is. So I'm wondering. Joey, why don't you know who that company is? Because Joey's thing, he's with a so different company. Joey doesn't know who Base Lab is. He, he didn't know who they was. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly he doesn't know. So, alleg- yeah, so allegedly, yeah. allegedly don't know. So Joey, mm-hmm. who is like one of the face of Link Up TV, in it. Because you don't see Rashid. Joey's a number two, man. No, I know, but that's who everyone sees. No, but that's what I'm saying. Right he's a number two. Yeah, he's so, number one. He, so he's so he allegedly. Find out who the company is so allegedly, Rashid. Joey Clipsa doesn't know who Link Up TV's partners are. Well, he said to me he doesn't know who bases. He said to me he don't know who it is. But Rashid said that's their partners. Yeah. So, so how you but, Joe, no, but, Joe, but, no, but Joey, Joey, Joey does splits with another company. Right. So I, again, I don't, I go away that one. So anyway, he said he doesn't know who they are. So I'm saying, bro, they need to, it needs to come off. And as you can see, all the voice notes, bro, they need to come off. That goes on for about a week. All week, he's telling me they're coming off. He's sending me emails. Might upload, take them down, re-upload them. It's going to be done. Took them, uh, re-upload, took them down, re-upload them about three times. Nothing changes. I'm like, Joey. Then you see the voice note. Joey, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? 
boom, boom, boom. Now I'm getting pissed again. But he guaranteed me one more time. Now, if you if you go to my info, there's there's a there's a, uh, a message that I sent to Joey. Look, like, bro, man's. I don't want this energy in my. You see, when I fought, when I started this this journey with Rashida, yeah. and my, I gotta tell you, bro, the biggest thing for me is energy, bro. What energy are you letting in your life every day? I wake up and draw. This this bit of angry, you are not, bro. Do you think you wait? Do you think you draw this bit angry? Like, oh, God, I'm gripping the pen. You're a dickhead. I'm in a place of harmony when I'm drawing, when I'm working yeah. every day. So I want harmony in my life. So if I'm engaging with people, bro, my partner then will tell you everything we deal with is harmony. So if I'm engaging with people, I need harmony. And that means a man, I treat you as you treat me. Mm. We have harmony. I don't deal with wrong or right. I deal with the balance of nature. See it there. So that energy, I don't entertain. I don't have it in my life. So when that, whatever, whatever picture, picture he's painting, it's impossible. It's actually physically impossible. Like, are you a dickhead? It's physically impossible for that to be around, man. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so when, so when the things not coming back, there's a message I send to him, and I'm saying, you, you're really it's sort of thing. I say to him, bro, I don't want this energy going forward in my life. I got things to do, I mean, especially when you know you got so many good things coming. You know, you know the project we got coming up with, you know, like so. I want to be there. I need to be there. So, bro, tell him he can still put me on that on that either thing if he wants. I don't care. Like, I, I don't want to fuck up his dream. And furthermore. If I'm if I'm in the history of hip, of hip hop, leave me there. If you want to take me out, take me out, but don't disrespect me and reel me up again. But while I'm doing all this, I'm thinking that this is my my, feed, my videos are in the process of coming back to me. So I'm just waiting because Joey's told me it's happening. Mm. Another week after that, it's still nothing. Still nothing. Now I'm mad again. So now it hold on. Now we're at yo. Link ups took my copyright, and now I'm doing the math. Now I'm hitting my solicitor. Now I'm at that yo. Yo. Is that when you took it to social media? Yes. So that's when we go to social media the second time. The first time was when me and him had the argument. The second time is now I've realised, hold on, this ain't coming to me. Because mm. now I know you don't care. Because I, 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 if, if oh, oh, sorry, t- sorry, I thought, I'm, 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 I'm forgetting a vital part. The last conversation, proper conversation I had with Joey, was Joey's telling me about Mike. Don't know what to tell you. Nothing I can do. Do what you've got to do. Mm-mm. From there, 20, 20 minutes later, Social media. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? So now we're on social media. Now I know you lot don't care. So hear what now? Mm. Someone's going to pay for this. And, I, and I'll be honest with you, when I first started this journey, truthfully, mm. I, just wanted to, I just wanted to cost them money. That was the first initial move. I just wanted to cost you a lot of money. So, and I wanted to get my rights back and cost you a lot of money. That was the initial car. Mm. Something's wrong here. Mm. But the more I'm getting into what's happening... It's oh, crazy, isn't it? This is crazy. This is not just them too. Mm. He's, he's even owning so up to so, that. He's so saying so that they'll do it. So saying they will do it. Not hold it. So basically, but, what uh, you're saying is they're not holding on to it. They've sold them. They either sold them or they've leased them or they've given them one of the two, but they're not yours and they're not theirs. Mm. So and all these times, what these lot don't know, and when he's always perpetrating my little brother, Jamal, this and we're gonna do this for you. Go. I'm gonna show you the statements I get back from Jamal's people. I'm gonna show you the splits I get. I'm gonna show you where it's told me, what regions, when and where they go. All this time I'm engaging with, with them lot. The people Jamal left me before he left there. God rest my little brother. So I know what's going on. And they can't work out what's going on. And this is how we got Mother back. Because luckily enough, the producer of Mother, even and he said to say he's never been, he's never been paid a penny from Mother ever, and it's always been on there. But the producer registered with PRS, Sky registered with PRS, not just after we made it, registered the beat and he registered me with it. So when the label's gone for them back, there's been room on Mother, because PRS had it. So we managed to get Mother back. So when you see Mother, it says Orchid, which is the group, okay, music. which is no, Jamal's no, 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 people, okay. on behalf of my GLC. So that's it. done in Invisible Tears. There you, there you go. There you go. And like I said, you could find them. No problem. It's there, they're, they're accountable. Feel me? That's what accountability looks like. Not that, bro. So what you've done is you've given soul or life. Oh, you have fuck. Oh, there's no link up at all. And that stuff we don't want. To, like there's stuff, more stuff we can go into. But we don't, we're not, we don't know the answers to them yet, so we can't do it. And I've, I've said to my lawyer, I'm not going to do it. I, like I said, this is my brother's firm, and we're going to be on this. So it's not, we're not going away. This is going to be going on. This, so we've got initial, uh, uh, initial preliminary things to do. But it's looking like, mm. it's looking like Link Up, that not only they not exist, it's looking like there might be more to it, bro. And with a few of them as well. And I'll tell you the truth, bro. Like, even in my stories right now, I'm seeing certain people underneath them. And I know there's people looking like, yo, you see if they, not if, 
Because it's not if no more, because what's been going on is what's been going on. That's it. It's just a matter now of like, who, to the extent, and how many. You feel me? Yeah. That's what it's. So what Rashid thinks, Rashid thinks I'm arguing with him. I'm not arguing with him no more, I'm past him. This is like, arguing with him just showed me what was going on. And, as a, and my argument with him to this day is this. I still don't have my rights back. I still need my rights. We still need the rights to my music. So you still have the... This company, as of this moment, still have the rights to my son's music, bro. That's how I see this. So all them, and what it is, we call it what we think... This is what, and this is when I'm speaking to the label, this is what we're kind of coming back with. We call it the basement bucket artist, the, 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 the thing. So you got the, so you got like 70% of the artists they deal with properly, that, like most of them. Like they got relationships, management, record labels, proper digital distribution. I'll say a lower percentage. Maybe it could be, but it might be lower than 70%, but I'm just, mm. I'm being kind. Yeah, 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 extremely. And then you got the 30% who do their pay for their uploads, they're never coming back for their things, and rare, tear, tear, that's, that's going to stay on there till they die. That's who them lot are getting rich off. Mm-hmm. That's where they're getting rich off. You see where I'm coming from? That's what's popping up. And that's something I know. I know. And so, that <clears throat> has been told for me from the top. So legally, basically, those platforms should only be able to claim the monetization because it's their platform and it's their fan base, basically, that you're... That no, 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 legally, they shouldn't be able to do nothing. No, but if they, if they upload a video mm. onto their channel... They should be able to monetize off of it now. Yeah, of course. No, they no, can. Oh, oh, of course they can, but no, really but they no. should be given a percentage because one no, thing. No, no, no. I that's always, wait, 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 I always go. I always take the piss out of. Um, I go mad at fumes here. Yeah? yeah. And all that, but one thing I will give press play with that plugged in thing. They have contracts. The artists come. They yeah. do their plug, then they sign in, they, they get their money, yeah. they either get a set money that's or like a set, do you know what I'm trying to say? They well. get their money yeah. and they go where they're going. Yeah. That's why I have to put my, like, yeah, press yeah. play, boom, Don't you know what I'm doing? Like, like, yeah, like all of these, be. all of these places, see, all these link up behind bars that I've done, none of that was ever told told to me or nothing. Considering how you know long I mean? they've been about, I'm but sure that there's is, no paperwork yeah, what, or no what, agreement between the, them and the artists when if money's exchanged and some form of service is being done, it, no matter where you go, there's there's an, there's you there's some form of paperwork or, or something. You, you know, know what, what I'm saying? Even morally, even morally, yeah. Yeah. even if we don't look at it in yeah. business terms, it's even yeah. morally, because mm. we're the, we're the um, creators, we make yeah. the music, wherever. Yeah. Morally, yeah? yeah, you shouldn't be taking all that. Like, yeah, but at least give us a percentage uh, of what we're. Because all right, I understand it's a business. It's your business because they all like say, oh yeah, but you know, you're getting what you're getting out of it. I get that. Cool. Yeah, we go and put on your platform. You're gonna get us out there. I get that. But I'm saying, come on. Like, see, yeah. like even you couldn't even give. Not twenty percent is taking a piss, but you can't even give them twenty. Yeah. No, you can't even. No, but how you get? I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At this moment in time, you can't even give them back their music. But check this now. Mm. But like. I, you see, it, like I said, if, P, if he wasn't in defence mode, there could actually be a solution in the sense of like, listen, this industry is a, it's, this, this is a long, it's a, this is a long place. This is it's been very, like monetization started when how long how, how long have videos been getting monetized for now? I'm not sure. So I'm like sure. videos have been getting monetized now. I don't know, but stations have lasted longer than videos have been getting monetized. So a lot of it is what he said in in one of the interviews is actually like yeah. I needed to protect myself. I remember when, I, when this first happened and I'm telling Joey, yo, bro, you think I'm a dickhead? Like, I know what you lot did. And what, what I'm saying to him, what you lot did is exactly what Rashid said. I needed to protect myself. People were, but it wasn't just that as well. It was the labels and all the rest of them coming in for their shit as well. I imagine you've got an actor on, on your channel and now he's saying a big deal. You've got to protect yourself from everyone. You've got to align yourself with animals. People that have got the digital know-how to do this. This is what they do. But what you don't realise, with these companies that you're aligning yourself with, yeah, some of them, some of them, like some of the companies like Basin, companies like that, bro, they're technology companies. That technology might have been used for gambling before, now they're using so it for this. So if they hadn't, so if somebody as a newcomer or unknown or something, yeah, gave their video to, to Link Up TV, and then three years later, or however much later, they've blown up now, and they're doing major numbers, mm. and people are now looking, looking back on their old stuff, so their old stuff is now getting thing. Mm. But they sold. But they've got their copyrights. They're getting so they they can't get they can't claim anything like they can't claim any of that back. Because well, these, these are the things we're gonna find out now. What we do, that's what I'm trying to say. What is gonna happen next? We can't say. Like, I can't say. It. I don't know. But what has has happened so far? We can. And what shouldn't be happening? We can. And it doesn't just apply to them. 
But the reason, but the thing is, it's not so much even what's happening. It's the reason. Like one of the reasons this has happened to me, I I, I will say to people, I'm the biggest of the basement buckets in the sense of like, no one don't give a fuck about Mike GLC like that. So Link Up ain't expecting this turnout. You know what I'm saying? They're not expecting mm. me to, to 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 want my shit back. They don't expect life. So when he's cut, it's what it looks like. It looks like when he's cut a deal, old stuff goes in that deal. So that's content. Content. So mm. you cut a deal, mm. and then you have a deal going forward. Yeah? So what you're seeing now is the deal going forward. But then it's still the old deal. So some of some of us got mixed up in the old deal. You follow where I'm coming from? So now we can't get our shit back. So that means that activity's been happening. But that means that your digital stamping's been set up in a certain fashion. So like we found out with Spray today, mm. with Graham Daly, mm. we know that the Daily Duppies are being monetized on audio as well as Yeah, they, put, they put my, um, my Daily Duppies on iTunes, didn't it? So for instance, so now that's the case, and now if you look back to what Rashid said, Rashid said we all use the same people, even though we know Jamal don't, we all do the same thing. So that's what they do. They so take that your, stamp. Your, your, your daily duppies on iTunes, you should have got a split sheet then. Yes. I didn't get nothing. Because I've just done a freestyle with Base Lab and I got a split sheet. When I done your, when I done, how, how I got my situation now? So at least you see, I know everything. You see what I'm on I, I didn't, they didn't record, I, I didn't record my um, daily duppy in their studio either. Check this. You know what you're talking about? You filmed about. it, the but visuals, check this, check but check this. the actual audio... It's not, your, not, it's not from their studio. Oh, no, no, check no, this, no, but check this though, check this now. This is a little bit. So, so each time it with Jamal done the same thing, yeah? Mm-hmm. When I'm done like rapping over the piano, I sat down with the guy a day later. That's how I got my distribution deal. And that's what my administration deal. So as soon as I done that rapping, I, I got my splits, I got my statements, I got everything. I got my. I eat What's with SPTV? Yeah. He, I've never got nothing off SPTV. No, but, but, no, but what I'm trying to say, that was back then when no one didn't really know what he was doing. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm. So when people's got no, to the time. And, got, and no, I've done Amen with SPTV, never got nothing. Well, check them. But they're accountable. Mm. There's an office, you can find them. You can go and see where I'm coming from. You could just mm. get a real business. And if you go and check them and say, I owe you this, they can go and get the money from somewhere. You know what I'm saying? You can audit them the money. If you beat SBTV and say, yo, blah, 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 blah. SBTV, that's my place, blood. Everywhere. All but what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say, crowd, but what I'm trying to say is they're, they're, they're actually a business. That's the mm. difference. Does that make sense? Mm. So when they're I'm not about, dissolved. No. <laughs> <laughs> they're not dissolved. But when, but when man said, but remember, it's not just SBTV. He's in, he's, he, he correlates with other, other entities. They, they've given it to this entity. Does that make sense? So mm. they're not doing the same thing. But that's what happened when I've when, when I done that, that, that free site SBTV. Now, when I've done the hardest part with Joey, Joey also done the same thing. Joey offered splits immediately. But Joey's splits were a bit funny. Are they like some free work? But Joey's splits also, the way his splits work, tell me again, something's not right. So anyway, Joey does splits. So if Joey does splits, where's, where's your splits from behind bars? So if Hardest Bars does splits, mm. shouldn't that make behind bars do splits? Mm. You feel me? But obviously behind bars are older. Does that make sense? Mm. So whatever reasoning he has, but what should be happening is business should take place. No, but they that. still knew that. It might, it might be but older, but they just still that. knew it. It's just gotten more bait now. Yes. That's what I think. So what I'm trying to say, so what I'm trying to say still is still knew they should have been No, but what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say, so listen, so 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 what I'm trying to say is that you can give a man an excuse if he doesn't know something. You know they're going to upload it onto iTunes. They should at least let you know that it's going to be uploaded onto iTunes. It's going out for streaming. Imagine that. Do you understand? You've made a YouTube agreement with them. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. You've made a YouTube agreement, but you haven't and I didn't even make agreement. that agreement. Exactly. But, then, but, exactly. but, 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 but listen, but listen. But you but haven't made an mm. agreement for them to now. But listen, spray. Look at it like this, please. Look, claim, but look at um, it like this. Look at it like this. Of, like, do you look, look, look at it like this. Me and you found out this in the morning. Just off. So what I'm trying to say is, yeah. Everyone's scenario might be slightly different, but the element still boils down to the same fact: predatory behavior manipulation and people not being disclosed information. Yeah. Does it make sense? Because it's like them people that was doing that 1P scam. You know, and they say send 1P or whatever, okay. whatever, but they was making millions because if they're sending it to how many people and they was doing that. So for all the people that don't know that there have been things being claimed, do you know how much money the people there must have been making off of artists? Because the, this is, this no, is being spanned right, so, over so, so, how so, many so, years. So now we're going to get back to, the, like, the, after this, we're going to talk going forward. Because going forward, more comes into now what's happening. Because like I said, exactly what's happening, I, we can't say yet. Because we haven't contacted, we haven't had um, contact back, we haven't... So there's certain things we've got to find out. Yeah, remember, but just like how his thing is, is being copyright, it's been put on iTunes, Yeah. 
the whole purpose of us using platforms is for no, is I, 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 I know that but what I'm trying to say we're past, we're past that thinking now like what they've done past that what the companies that are facilitating what they're doing mm-hmm. is more the issue now does that make sense so like with because the companies they're doing this stuff with will not think they're breaking the law so somebody somewhere has to do and what it's going to do is come back onto the onto the, the in-between person the mm-hmm. video person because the company that they're using are not going to think they're breaking the law so the fact that I can't get my copyright back tells me that a company says we own this who the fuck are you talking to so there's something here so that's what we've got to find out what's happening here so that's to be found out that's to be determined but and like we said with your situation if you was to go press your situation now we've got that form yeah we've got a good response from that form I've got a better response from my inboxes but mm. thankfully we're going to everyone that's on that form we're going to look at if you're not on that form we're not going to look at you we ain't got that much time on your resources but we're going to look at and there's a lot of cases that make a lot of sense you know mm. what I'm saying to you so and they're all very different so yeah. what it is and how it is we don't know yet because basically with me when the industry felt like when they turned their back on me I ripped all my stuff in it so you got it of all, all the channels that I've posted because I've obviously and I've got millions put together I've got millions of views out there innit? but I chopped everything and put it on my own channel on this channel RTM Records here yeah? and the link up stuff never flagged like, I was able to monetize everything here yeah? it's only like when I check I check the um, Grand Day. Daily the Daily Duppy today says the song Daily Duppy Season 4 Artist Young Spray Album Daily Duppy Season 4 Licenses Licensed by Believe Music on behalf of GRM Daily Illegal So do you get what I'm trying to but say? But we don't even get into that like, I don't even want to Huh? I don't know. You've heard of it? I know. Oh you know the, yeah. yeah But basically oh, they're exactly. collecting Who they? Who they? Wow. Who they? Um, digital 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 content people. They're another another base, basically. Yes. But that's my point. So what's going on, we're going to find out. But what we do know, what's the base, let's look at it like this. Now, that's what I'm saying. Let's look at going forward. Because what the good thing about this whole situation which happened is I'm in contact now with the people that I need to be in contact with from other platforms, from other situations. And we're having discussions about what's going to happen going forward now. Because like you said, like even when I saw him do the interview yesterday, he done something and I'm like, yeah, that's good. If you say you're going to change your business practices, fine. If you say you're going to start giving, giving people transparency, fine. So as a, as a business, well, it's going to be difficult because the link up's no longer a business. Do you think there's any possible way that he could have just got misunderstood that like he don't look like he didn't realise what was going on? Uh, maybe in the beginning. Probably. In a sense of like, you might have cut a deal and you just didn't know that the deal was going to mean this. Mm. Does that make sense? Because I, I look at my situation like, you wouldn't want this headache. Like, this is not worth your life. It's not worth my life. It's not worth your life. Like, so why would you knuckle down like this, knowing full well I don't have the rights to my music? But I feel like there's certain loopholes that they've used. No, the company... Like, no, but this is what... It's like... Yeah, but check, 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 but let's... Sorry, I was going to say this, why it's in my head. Yeah. All right, for instance, I'm into the NFT stuff, stuff yeah. yeah? Now, I deal with, like, me and, me and the people Jamal left me with, we've been having, like, we have long discussions about NFTs, licensing. Like, all right, let me... We're in a time of licensing and copyright. This, this is the area we're in. Like, people believe that music works with, like, in, industries work with people. They don't. They work on technology. So in other words, the reason I could sell so many CDs, one because I was a great fucking rapper, is because I worked out that fucking CDs could manufacture for 20 pence and I can, I can make you sell them for this much. It was that simple. That makes sense. So like, yeah. in music's driven on industry. Before that, it was vinyl. So you had vinyl. So when vinyl was the main thing, that's when you could make the margins. As soon as... Um, we can manufacture CDs, that's when we learn how to make our margins. When iTunes came and made everything a pound, the game died. So as the game died, all the money dropped out of the game. So all the people, I don't want to spare off track, but I, I kind of have to include this to kind of paint a fuller picture. I always say to people, the difference between the American music industry and the British music industry is this. The American music industry comes from, the origin of it is, is the American hick. And then he sells it to the, to, 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 to the Italian and the Italian kind of gives it to the Jew afterwards. And when the Jew takes, the, takes their industry, he then has a love for black people, he has a love for their music, he teaches them the music. And he, the Jew's blueprint's a bit different. So when you see all the big situations in America with our, with our heroes, mm. you see where their business partners are. So they have the Jew that said, yo, I'm going to show you what to do, but remember my 20%. You feel me? So they learn, they got taught, and it's knocked on downwards. That's the American music industry. Our music industry is nothing like that. Our one is people that were all in other musics at one point. Yeah, they were all in other genres, doing other things, and then eventually, when the money in music started to deplete, as mm. it did because of my tunes, mm. what do you do when, when, it, when a late runs dry, what happens? You see what's in the bottom of it. Mm. Now, you know black people, we never stop shucking and jiving. So when the money dropped out of music, where, who, who, where did they come? Mm. And when you see, when you see the birth of 
the the Grand Daily era, that era. Cause remember, I man can't tell me, and I've been, I'm part of the building. I know man can't tell me what happened next. There's reason I was with end ups, you know, like that. Mm. So when this when this happens, when that situation happens now, what happens is all the, all the execs, all everything that no, no longer's got no money, they end up in the music world in England. This is what happens. So now they're picking off the bits that they like. But guess what they got now? They got video people. They've got cameramen. They've got rights. They've got all this access to all this material. Mm. This is mm. where you see these relationships build, and we know that I'm base of it. No? Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold so, Basically, you know. Oh shit! My channel, yeah. There you go. There you anyway. That, really? <laughs> on the spot. But fuck it. I don't lose my training for. On the spot. I don't lose my training for. So there. So there. So then, what we have then? We had years of people that was in, and I know this because these are the people. But man, forget people. Man, forget that half of the fucking managers and they were they were they came in off my like if they forget half of the situations that was my nickel man. He used to do the coffee. Right. He, right. That's H's manager. Get out of it. So my point is. I know this is not. No, right. don't just age his manager, Addicts. Pick up Addicts. Let's get coffee though. Do you know Addicts? Alex. Yeah, yeah Alex. Uh, East Side Records, bro. Addicts. No, it was Colin at first, wasn't it? No, Colin, Colin ain't age his manager. Who's Colin doing then? Colin's digger D now. Okay, say that. But anyway, my point, you get my point. Oh, what did Colin use to get? I swear he was H at one point. But anyway, my point, he was at East Side at one point. Yeah, he was at East My point, my point he is. He used to have no lay in it. My point is. Big up Colin, man. Don't start Colin. Bro. Fuck everyone. My point is. I know everyone from the basement, bro. Mm. So man can't style on me and they know that. Mm. So when I'm saying these scenarios, I know these scenarios, I know when they yeah. changed. So when that at that, that time came where all the people that was in the other genres of music came and started sucking off our thing, now the music industry looks like it's working. People think money, money just came into black music. No, it didn't. Mm. Money's been here for the last like 50 years in black music. It looked like it had more money. So now when the world's dry, the predators start Tipping up, but they've already got the little house niggas they mm. can get the bits from. These are the video guys. Yeah. They can come and grab the content. So, and I'm, I'm getting to the point about these companies like Bass and these companies. Mm. So, and then when I say music's technology driven. Mm-hmm. So now these people start picking off, picking off, picking off. But what do these people do when they've got what they want? They go back to doing what they're doing. So people don't learn in this environment. See, the American environment's about learning and knocking it down. Our environment's about a bunch of people that do something for you and then they leave. Mm. Or they take you to their world. And you behave like them. That's the British music industry. Yeah, Hence why Mike yeah, GLC's yeah, never yes. had no fucking part of it. Spray, did we not have these conversations about 10 years ago in my office? But I'd like to, we had these conversations. These ain't new conversations. I had to be having so only now people are hearing. I feel like, um, I feel like something that they was they used to kind of hide what they was doing was, you know, everybody that normally, like, you grabbed your stuff, mm. you grabbed your stuff, and then I heard, not until no, it, no, it's techno. Okay, I'm just going to say one thing quickly before you let me forget because I've been sorry. trying to get it out. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to be. I need to get I'm, it I'm out. I'm trying to be a flame, I was just saying, like, what I feel like they've done, because Pound Sterling even said it, that when he takes his stuff and then he asks them to release it or whatever, it's very rarely done. Yeah, 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 yeah. When we uploaded our videos onto YouTube, which is what I, what I was talking to you lot about before, all of the other artists, like what you call in the bucket, ba- the basement <laughs> artists, us, yeah, us. we they didn't, and we thought that we weren't even. Some most of the artists thought they weren't even allowed to re-upload their videos. Yeah, but so, it's so, like think, lack of understanding so, so, what they've been yeah. So it's kind of like a little and loophole that us. they went through because if you are under the understanding that you're not allowed to re-upload your your own videos, that's the way that you're going to find out if there's been a copyright yes. claim. Do you understand what I'm saying? But then that, what so with them kind of making you feel like you can't re-upload it, that's because you're not meant to find out certain but, things. That's actually something that yes. people are, need but to actually see. that's that predatory behaviour. Exactly. But this is why so I go back to... So it needs to be highlighted. This, this is why I'm telling this little story yeah. here to, to get people who don't... Because people often think that Mike just has ours, but I might know what the fuck he's talking about. So that predatory behaviour is in our industry. So like, the industry driven on technology. So what these companies are, they're not record labels, they're not music people, they're technology companies that are designing technology which is going to design to come up with the best possible way to utilise every inch of this content. Mm. And these are the people they're doing business with. So say for instance, the people I'm doing business with, Jamal, they're music companies. These companies are technology companies. Big difference. They're designed to say, fuck you. Mm. And they jump in bed with them because them companies can get them the most money. So that's just what's going on. Mm. And we're going to find out what the true relationships are now. Because and the reason, believe me, some people probably know, some people might have got deals, some people might have got contracts, but overall, it's in no one's benefit to, for, to this information to be commonly. That's why he's like, yeah, come check me, whatever. That's just them. So whatever, whoever, whatever he's doing, we're going to find out. But it's not honest. It's not clean. 
like he just found out on the spot right this second mm. when he said base it's, there's a lot going on but my lawyer's going we're gone now and you want to keep on playing my lawyer got M full timer right here you can go check him he spoke to him just before this started so like that's that but afterwards we want to start talking about going forward how this is different like he, he says he's going to start helping people cool I want to see that because like, like I said to a man business begets business you know and I'm a man that's run business my whole career without a bunch of energy you know my thing everyone in there met me in the office for the first time so cool because I know what it's like to run a business I know what it's like to pay staff I know what it's like to have a point of contact and all that so if you're going to do that do that mm. because that's when you're going to go out of business so then you will go and someone who's going to run a business will come in that's what I want this ain't about me and you you little prick this is about the you, the you mud mm. number one you're taking people's music right now so that's one argument number two you're setting up a whole generation of fuckery now this goes this gets to this now and I always say to people this year and uh, this is bit, this is that bit of Mike talking in the guy's got no prospects crazy mm. that the one the one that everyone's only ever met in the office no success mad mad because you've only ever met me with stuff <laughs> hey, mad man. mad when you, when you first met me what was I? come on he was in your office where? where? A different one. Office. My brother come in there making a whole heap of noise, what, troubling up girl, but it's cool. But yo, we've been here. That's what I'm trying to say. So man ain't, man ain't styling on me about business. So if you're going to run business, run business. Mm. Run business. And that will put you out of business. So I'm cool with that. All of you, give the money back, share the money, do the deals, do the right businesses, make them be a, a point of contact, have a member, do all of that. Then we're going to see. Because then you will go, because what they're doing now is hiding, they're pretending they're businessmen. And that's what's fucking up everyone. Now, I, I'm telling people this, it relates back to the children, bro. Because it works like this. The only reason I know the things I know is information. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to break it down to people like this. These youths live in a hyperventilated state of numbers because of this environment, because of this predatory environment. And another thing I, I want to say to people is this, yeah? When you look at any industry in this, in this business, whether it's rock, pop, the only industry that's similar to ours is pop. Because pop deals with manufacturing. So pop, you have like, you know, a manager or a record label might create a pop pack. But then after that, it goes record label, maybe a, maybe a booking agent, consumer. Every other, and every other genre of music works that way. Whether it's band, rock, you know, it goes mm. musician, manager, record label, maybe publishing, maybe distributor, maybe booking agent, consumer. But it goes like that. Our, our industry is the only industry because someone's fucking hands in it. Everyone's hands in the fucking kitty job from the, from the cameraman to the, everyone's hands in the little kitty job and the youths are running for these numbers. These hyper... Like, I always say to people, you ever wonder why American videos... You get, you get American artists who's got... I don't know, they might have a million... Like Benny, yeah, Benny the Butcher and them used there. They might have a video that's like a million views. But they're rich. We got used to have got 15 million views and they're broke. How does that make physical sense? This is the hyperflated, invent, invent, inflated, predatory... System. So what? So, so, so look at it like this. Imagine you're you and you go to Link Up. You spend your eight hundred pound. Now you gone to Joey. Sat down with Joey. Joey there's a girl. She got a coffee. He's right? coming in the office. You know, boom. Okay, this is what's gonna happen. When you, when your video gets to this this number, you start getting splits. You get monetized. Here's the countries. You can you can. You, I mean I mean in my world because when I had companies we was like we was at like websites you can log into and get your analytics and all that. That's what my company's done. But even if you can't do all that, you don't know about all that. Cool. At least it's a point of contact that they can phone and say, "Yo, what's my thing this month?" And you got and and you, you you've got an email to say, "Yo, here's the splits. Do you agree to this?" Da, 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 da. Yeah. So that's what we want next. So if you're gonna do that, cool. But if you're not gonna do that, move aside mm. and let us. And people that are on that do that because they're hiding, they're pretending they're businessmen, but really just, they're deep in your things, but they're not mm. giving nothing back. So if you tell a you 18 year old you, he comes in the office now, boom, you've done the breakdown with him, yeah? you've shown him where his, thing, his thing's doing. Like, he's been out here going crazy for the last month, so he's got a following now, he's been chefing up everything. He's, he's the man. His first video was done, a million, but he's got all his numbers back. He's sitting there saying, yo, and he got his money back. Because remember, they don't get that until they get to the manager. Because mm. as it works right now, they do that first part, and then the manager comes in. But the manager and the record label is usually someone that one of these men introduced them to in the first place. It's like a big man go around. Mm. So exactly. now, now they get their splits and, or what they think are their splits now. But before that point, if they would have got dealt with in the right fashion, when they sat there, they'd go, these are my numbers, these are my splits. You just wilding, though, he's getting mad at it. Because, you know, well, what were you done? Why did you still sell T-shirts to, to you could because the cows come on? Because you understood something from the get-go, even though you was outside getting mad. But you knew about T-shirts, though, because mm. you knew the numbers. Mm. Now, imagine these you sit down, and every time they walk in the office, they know their numbers. Because I, mm. I, I don't know my shit, because I need my numbers. Mm. They're going to want to make five of those. Well, I made, what, 500 of that video in two months? 
Who makes six of those? What, you telling me I don't need to run around and chef up everything? I can just get office and make, shoot some videos and... Yeah, I'm on this. Yo, you look fix up, you know? You know, furthermore, you see, when we get our money take away this time, here what we're going to do now, we're going to get a studio. You know how the thing's set? Because you know your numbers. When you deprive the use of their numbers, they left that there to go mad. I go mad, I chef up something, someone dies, two million views. Wicked. This is how it's working right now. And this is what I'm trying to say. Going forward, we need people that are coming with channels. I don't even say, I'm saying that, like, I'm saying this. I, could, I don't really care about all this shit. In the sense of, like, this is not what I want to do for my rest of my life. I want to set the... I want to help reset the thing. Where, but music's not, because they, I don't know why they can talk about Mike's bit. Mike's cool, Mike just wants to, we've got albums and that sitting down that still sound better than everything you lot are doing, so it's cool, we're going to put those out as we want. That was a better statement. Uh, it's a better statement, it's true. <laughs> so, but it's, but it, but it's, it's true. I can't help if, it. Anything you heard from Mike, you'll see before, forget that. <laughs> forget that, I don't even like Rashid him. said he's never chatting to you again. Hopefully. I was about to ask hopefully. you, like, yeah, do you feel the same or do you No, feel hopefully. It, listen, it's not even about him. I don't, like, like when I say hopefully, I don't even mean that in a way of like, oh, you know. Is that why he hasn't, is that what he's saying his reason is? The reason is what he, no, the reason really is because he knows what I'm doing. That's the true reason. I know that's the true reason. He knows that's the true reason. And like I said, remember when I phoned you on the phone, I said, well, until, until I see, until I, and that's another thing as well. Here's another thing, the, 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 the video. Mm. Leaking the video, trying to get me arrested, trying to put that in the air. Mm. Like, until he done that... Doug, I think Doug done that. I don't care who done it, but it's that same... It's from him, because it only went one place. Yeah, no, he, he sent it to Doug and Pound Sterling. Cool, whatever, whatever. Did <laughs> <laughs> you see him? He messaged sent it to them, innit? So, like, all of that, when all that happened... Doug leaked it. I phoned Spray that day. I, Spray would tell you, I phoned him, I said, you know what, bro? Mm. We're going to make peace in the sense of, like, this ain't about my man. If my man hasn't done what he said he's, he's doing... Cool, but here what we're going to say, I'm going to say what I know seems to be happening now as far. You get what I'm saying to you? But cool, and he's like, you're going mad. I say, no, but bro, I don't care about Why it. Why I always say he's going mad? Because I'm thinking, all right, cool, make peace, but my own was being rude. Didn't yeah, it? cool, cool. See me, I'm on, like, but as, like yeah, I said I in the that. start, Mike, I've got no problem with Rashid. I don't, Mike, like, my, that, my one problem with Rashid was that I think he's, he was a cool guy. But you see, if you start being rude like that, bro, I'm going to punch out your face for you. Like, and that's my own. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Like, from yeah, the way no, it comes, don't be rude. Listen, the truth is, like, the truth is, I'll be honest with you, bro. It's just being rude. Do you want me to know the truth, the truth, bro? It's just being rude. Like, bro, even before I started the project with these guys, I'll be honest, you want to know, like, I said I'm going to talk, bro. You see people, Mike, but no, Mike don't like none of this shit, bro. So Mike don't care about none of this shit. So people being rude, people saying, fuck Mike, Mike's this, Mike's that. I swear to God, it's all cool. Because at the end of the day, you live the life you actually live, and that's, the, that's it at the end of the day. So, like, anything people say that isn't in the realms of what, what man's dealing with, it doesn't make no sense or difference to man. And that's the easiest way I can express that. No, you know what it is? Like I said, I'm rude, innit? Like, yeah. I'm rude, but I'm a rude boy. I'm capable. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Now, do you get what I'm saying? Like, I'll be rude, rude and I'll be rude yeah, to your face as well. No, but hear what I'm saying. I'll be rude to your face as well. Did Rashid say what he said on that podcast to you in your face? Yeah. Would he say to you? I don't think so. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm just saying. Someone might. Mm. We can only go by our track records. <laughs> it is busy. I don't know, but me... My jacket's all right. I'm, my, my, I can't, my you know what I'm saying? I can't, right. see them, I can't see them when they're standing up in man's face and being so... I don't know why. Bro, we don't, we don't cover, bro. Mm. Be so bro, 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 it's me and you, you know? Like, be we so can't, bro, it's me and you, you know? You be, it's me and you, you know? We can't see who's standing where, bro. We got to tell like we ain't moved. How many crowds have So... We're cool, it is what it is. I don't care. Like, mm. I'm here, I'm present, I want to stay in this space. I'm only pissed that I was pissed at that moment. Mm. I'm pissed that I didn't, I, 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 did, I dipped out without getting mad, but at the end of the day, you still have my copyrights. So I'm a deal with, that's a whole different, separate. And in, the thing is, I would have probably stayed just, and I said this to Joey, you know, I said, bro, I was fighting for my copyrights. It wasn't until you started being rude that I'm now going to tell people, ew, what now? And on that journey, because you keep on antagon, because you've antagonised me every, because you're now trying to do what, what, like for instance, you're saying, am I pissed about what he's doing and what he's saying? No, but he, I know he's ruining himself, so it doesn't matter. Mm. Does that make sense? Like everything you're doing is ruining yourself. So I'm, I swear, I'm, I swear on every, I said this, to, I said this to everyone. I actually felt for the guy, bro. After the when I saw the, the winners podcast, I'm not proud to crumble people. When I see a man crumbling, do you think that makes me proud? He said it. What's well, Spray Woody say? He's not crumbling. He's being rude. So yeah, that, yeah, he wasn't crumbling. See? But I said it to him, though. Spray, what did I say to you that day? Mm. 
When I say so to are you sitting there? No, but when I say to him, I said he weren't scared. No, but no, no, this is scared. When I said, I said, I'm not proud of seeing a man crumble. He yeah. weren't crumbling. And I said he weren't. He was being rude. But that's my point. But my point was, my observation is, I know what's going on in, 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 in their actual situation. So I know he's crumbling. So do you think that he was doing damage control then? It's more than damage control. But some, we've got another belief that my lawyer said to me today, and I'll get to that. I don't even want to say that. So I think what he's doing now is, and that's what makes it dangerous, if I'm honest. You see me personally, mm. I'm scared of him. He, true stories. Like when that video came out, my baby mother tell you, my girl, blood, I'm sitting here and I'm looking like, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Come on, we're from what we're from. It only gets worse. Mm. When nerds are scared, it only gets worse. So it's like, and it's not even scared elements it's because I know what he thinks could land on his lap if this caves in. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Because mm. what he's telling you lot is that he has to get public opinion against me. There's no other option. None. And like I told you, I know who's looking at what I'm doing right now. So what we're doing is marquee. This isn't a game, like, this is beyond him. And I don't even want to talk it like that, I'm not even trying to... But after this, like, I want to talk about what happens going forward. Like I said, going forward, if people start to do what they say they're going to do, then the youths are going to benefit. Cool. That's what it is. But like I said, business begets for business. business. So to run a business costs money, bro. And you have to be real, you're going to need more than Joey. You're gonna need a business. But it sounds to me like this thing, uh, this thing went got out of hand with you two, and now he's just opened up a much bigger can of. That's words. exactly what's happened, and that's why he needs I'm to make saying. it about me and him. So, so that's now it sounds like it's actually like how you're saying it's, it's sounding like it's even bigger than your situation. If what you're saying is what it is, hundred percent. And if it's what I'm trying to think it is, because I'm looking at it as somebody that you know just uploads their thing, and I'm just looking at it just as an art, you know, like there must it's it's definitely bigger than that. And um, if there is a loophole where there, where there doesn't have to be an agreement between no, there has to platforms be. and the artists... The loophole has been, it has been the predatory behaviour and well, the needs. Well, then something, to, well, then something got, needs to he's, change. He's got a tagline he's running with, who done more for the UK industry. So he's okay. running with this, look what I've done for you lot. It's like, do you know what a dictator is? Mm. <laughs> do, you know what, Come on. do you know what a political dictator is? Like, that's what they are. What's that? There's a... Um, there's a um, huh? Why for that? Why for that? But listen, no, no there's a stoic saying. Um, oh, love. A detail. Yeah, why for that? Why? What's why? Because it's because of the. Because of the. Because of the. I don't know who that is or what that is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> why for that? There's a stoic saying, yeah? A, dita- a, di- a dictator's come riding. Why, hey, man? There's a stoic saying, dictators come riding on horses with snakes. Why for that? Sure. Because it's the truth, though. Lava for that. What, the word dictators? Oh, why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, why, man? Oh, why for that, man? man. You're not sure. Why for that, why man? Not, right. What's the word we can think of? Um, a pussy Castro. Pussy Castro. Pussy when Castro rolled pussy in on a horse, he had to come with a smile. That's how they come. They, this is what they do. That this is uh, that's, that's the kind of authority... And energy he's got over the audience, so now he needs to appeal to an audience who he knows, like, yeah, you done this for Like, I've seen comments that are ludicrous to me, like, yeah, we know that, we know that, but at the end of the day, Link up give you promotion, so therefore they should keep the money. I'm like, bruh, that is brainwashing. That's like Stockholm Syndrome. Like, our youth are stuck in Stockholm Syndrome. It's nuts. So now, they... Why? <laughs> but that's just, I feel like... That, I feel like that's because over Why? the years, yeah... <laughs> I feel like that's because over the years, you know, like everyone's just, it's a thing where, in, especially in the UK, the industry is very small, isn't it? And it's like, if you don't go through it, it's coming like for a certain, for a certain amount of time, it coming like if you weren't going through those two channels, you weren't even getting anywhere yes. unless you're a viral sensation. But then, and, three channels. Right. and that goes yeah, back. But, SVT, yeah. but then there's a but reason. Because they stopped ah, at certain But that even leads to the reason. Because I don't think they was as bad. Their numbers dropped. Do you understand dropped. what I'm saying? Remember SB's numbers dropped? Yeah, I know, I remember. Yeah, that's what SB's so, numbers dropped. Because I don't really put them in that category as much. Do you understand what I'm saying? But for a long time, it coming like if you're not going through there or there, you're not really saying that. And there is others now. You know, you've got press. And, and, whatever, and, and you know the funny thing? And the funny it's thing is, the funny thing, you saw it in America for a very brief mm. moment. And that's my point. It's like, England didn't have enough going on to stop that whatever yeah. ship. Yeah. So in other words, like, that predatory behaviour. In America, for a very brief moment, they had world star. Mm-hmm. And then that disappeared, no longer existed. Now, yeah. but the difference of America, I checked the difference of America now. When man are getting, when, them, when that predatory, like, for instance, you see, you see that situation with, Meg, with um, Megan and Stallion, for instance. Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. That's like a press play situation. You see, it's funny to about press play. My lawyer said something to me about press play and the ivory, the ivory and doll situation. He said something to me. It's very interesting. Ivory and doll. Yeah. 
He said something to me today. And yeah, he was talking about that it. That stuff yeah. was getting pulled every time. She got five over in doors. Yeah, the other day outside. But, but check this now. My lawyer was saying, my lawyer was saying something to me today about that. Yeah. Now she, I don't know who's represent, rep, represent. I don't know who's who's dealing with her situation. But her situation, see, no, no, but let me just <laughs> no, say, sure. let me say it properly. I see them. <laughs> let me just come and forget what I'm going to say. No, so so I, I see them. So, 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 so I don't know who's dealing with her situation, but her no. situation is very similar to Megan Stallion's in a sense. Yeah, the one she had. But when Megan Stallion had her situation, Rock Nation come and went yank. We deal with that. Mm. America so has, she got a big machine behind no, her. So what I'm trying to say, no, what I'm trying to say is America don't, America don't have his house Negroes. They have us still mm. in the positions they're supposed to be. So all of that gets extinct. When you look at all the, like when you look at even all the older, older American artists, they all got out. From Fat Joe to Jim Jones to Benny the Boy, they all got out. Why? Because someone over Rock Nation went, let me show you how to get your money. Mm. Yeah? Any situation happens over there, there's either, there's either a QC and coach or a Rock Nation or there's people in positions that are saying, what, their man did what? Mm. Come in. We've got the opposite. We've got man saying, yo, go over there. Go over there. Go over there. Break me at the end. Basically. Mm. Oh, and there's and another one. And the other problem. You until yeah, you're used, yeah, they yeah. use you until you're used. And the other problem. And if you, just if put you talk out against yourself. it, you're either bitter or, there you know, they're your so-called blackboard. Do you cool. understand what I'm saying? Mm. Do you get what, me? That's, what, what, that's, 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 um, that's why they was able to do them things for so long to people. What you can you me? see what Rashid needed to answer to that he didn't answer to? What, yeah. what, everything. But what, what was the question? Yeah, but what did he miss out? What, he, he what just, did we need to know from him? Yeah. Because yeah. he, oh, he's only, clearly doing his little run or whatever. The only the question is... His press run. The only yeah, story. that's why I asked Mike, mm. what is the reason why he... Rec- what, what has Rashid said is the reason why you haven't got your claim? Is because he's basically saying he's above board. Yeah. He's saying that it's a click of a button, isn't yeah, that's it? What I'm saying. Like, you call me and I can well, release your stuff. He's trying to do so what I want to know is, is he saying this now because you allegedly you threatened him, him or is it yes, because yes, they yes, can't? Yes, yes, what is yes. He, no, 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 that, that's the whole thing. Rashid's clever. So he needs to create this personal war to, to, to give it a scenario. So even now, as you know, if you, if you check, he's got the whole scenario and compressed it. So like, as you know, there was the first part, mm. there was the middle part, and then there's the end. He's got the whole thing compressed it. Me and Mike fell out, Mike put money on my head. Cool. Uh-uh. So like, and then we, now we're here. Now we, then he's blaming for copper. But he's, what, what he's also done cleverly with the copper, he tried to start it with pounds, and I said this to pounds before I done. That's why, the reason I put you this stuff- pounds is your brother as well. Is he your re- brother? Definitely not. The reason I said this- <laughs> <laughs> the, um, No, but it's not, no, we're mates. No, 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 brother, no, no, like, you, like, yeah, you have to snap out of that. Like. No, but what it is, is it, it just feels like, Sometimes when certain things are supposed to reveal, you know, when they say what happens in the dark must come to light. Do you mm. understand what I'm saying? Mm. If something's going to reveal, it's going to reveal throughout, it, regardless of the scenario. Because that thing, what happened with you and your the project about your mother? Number one. Oh, let's get the whole whole. Yeah, yeah, okay, like, let yeah, me get yeah. it. Yeah. Number one. Yes. Him being so blasé and condescending about it to <laughs> me is very disrespectful because he knows Definitely how passionate. Mom, yeah that project is to you. You're not even just doing a little film that you wrote a script to, it's actually your real life. The fact that he actually contacted you about it and you have come together, he should know that if you even no, call did, him in the morning, he can say to you, did, did, that's to me a conversation. He's what, very aware of this. That's a, very, yeah, very, that's a conversation that you lot can have, even and one away and you lot can, you lot can agree to disagree and say, do you know what? No, I don't even do it. things in them no, type no. of hours. You know what I'm saying or no, whatever, whatever. Do you get me? No, no, no but that, that, that's then, okay. that, that part, that was hurtful. Yeah, we, that must have been hurtful. Because of the subject matter, we had got to a certain space. I remember saying to him, bro, like, almost in tears, saying, bro, you know, I've worked tell the story right for yeah. years but anyway there's especially like, when you look at somebody you see when you pre-warn somebody and they do what you warn them about yeah, yeah. that's even more hurtful because I've, I've gone to, I've said to somebody yeah, before I I'm to not going to go yeah I'm not going to go into business with you if it's going to be this type of scenario and down. they end up doing the same oh, thing cream, I wouldn't went matter cream calm me down I remember yeah. the, the, the part I want to remember the part I want to remember was yeah, this oh when he, so now I knew, we, I knew he was going to do this and I preempted this when he started saying, to, can, and that's why, the reason I, f- I put so much stuff up, people might think, Mike's getting nuts. No, I'm putting this stuff up. I don't give a fuck if you think I'm getting nuts. I'm putting this stuff up to make you know that I know he, what he's going to do next. That's it. I don't care what you think of me. So on Sunday, I put a range of stuff up to let people know that I ain't come to show you what he's going to do next and what he's not going to do. And one of the things I knew he was going to do was try to make it out as if he was being flagged, as we know it's not. So I knew he was going to try to go down that route. But the more scary thing was, he was, I knew later on he was going to try to act as if he's doing it purposely. Mm. Even though that is breaking the law still, mm. but it's the lesser of the evils. Mm. You know what I'm saying to you? But I knew, I knew Thank you. that's what he was going to do. Do you know what, Mike? Do you know the problem that I have with them? 
And it's so sad, it's so sad that we get it even worse from our own. Because when you're getting it mm. from people that don't understand you, they don't even know any better. But, it's people who never but, do but, but what I'm going to say is like, you see, like if I'm going to put my music out, yeah? And I'm going to put it out through Ditto. Ditto doesn't give a fuck who my brethren is or anything. I pay for the service and I there can get go. to distribute my there stuff. You mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? It doesn't matter yes. what race you are, what, whatever, whatever. The only time you're not going to get it uploaded is if you don't follow their guidelines. Do you understand yes. what I'm saying? And, uh, uh, Let's have it right. Link up TV and certain platforms. Certain artists can't even get to upload their videos. They actually pay for videos and still even can't get uploaded. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's yeah. actually a lot that goes on behind but, the but scenes the that truth. people don't talk but one about. Of the truths is, Do you know what I'm saying, Spray? No, but here's one of the truths. Isn't it? It, it, mm. True, 100%. But here's one of the truths. Even like when Rashid sits there with his, you know, I'm a business lad. And again, you know what I've realised? Let's not make this about Rashid. Uh, one no. thing, no, but one of the things I've realised about this thing is... Uh, but didn't Rashid do a podcast? <laughs> no, but I'm saying, like no, but I'm saying, no, no, we're, no, not, we're not doing this. No, no. He, he got onto my... This ain't... Um, let's oh, get onto Rashid too. One, 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 one of the things I've realised why it's time for me to stop talking to people in a certain way, because it gets to the point you actually realise people actually don't know you know what you're doing. And it just turns... It looks like... So when I'm listening to Rashid, I actually realise, right, you actually don't know that I know what I'm doing. So what you're doing is someone who doesn't know what they're doing, but I know you don't know what you're doing. So, but they're the people who think they know what they're doing, and they're in control of other people who definitely don't know what they're doing. So it's never gonna. There's a reason I don't fit. I don't get along with most of these industry people. You know, it's like looking at a bunch of people do things and saying that's not right, but you know that's not right, and then you scream that's not right. You're like dickhead, and then you're the, you're the bad guy because everyone's with what's not right yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's the normality. That's why they, they don't want to. No. They don't want to mess up their. No. Their, the only reason I'm in this situation, hold on, let me finish this. The only reason I'm in this situation, because I, I want people to also remember this, I'm probably the only artist who's never, ever had a record deal. I, this is why I say, when I look at the, the public domain, I should not have any music license to anything. I've never had a record deal. I've never had a manager. I've never had nothing. I've done something with my bridges a few years ago, and I put an album out with Eastside before I went to jail a couple mm. of times. Mm. But I've never been attached to the system. That's what, mm. oh, and we're going to talk about that. Mm. I'm laughing about some CDs. Mm. Yeah, they said bear allegedly with your CDs. Allegedly, mm. they saw my car there. Bro. He's rewriting you know the part, I even like, said he saw you outside. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I won't even like, part of me was going to go the ignorant route in a sense of like. Can you bust some joke on Doug for that? Yeah, but come on, bro. When like, he's, their lives are jokes, so like, yeah. You bust some joke on Doug for that. Yeah. But like, part of me was going to do the, do, do, the, do the tell you everything, but that's, mm. that's too borderline. But here what I'm saying to you, what the truth was though, 260,000 of my blood. It was around about 280. But where's the records? What you mean where's the records? Anybody he said where's the records? <laughs> and Rashid said there's no records. Alright, cool. But what where's his records? Let me finish what I'm saying. Let me finish what I'm saying. I'm going to forget. Let me finish what I'm saying. I'm going to forget. And I just want to get this out. How do you know you've done 250,000? We wasn't selling my CDs, bro. Mm. We were selling everything. No, but how do you know you've done 250,000? Do you want to listen? Do you want me to tell you? Yeah, because we want him to answer you know his question. We know from the receipts mm. of the fucking... Be. Listen, no, we know from the receipts of the amount of actual CDs that got made and manufactured. We bought That's them every week. What, right. That's what I'm saying. But, 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 no, but, I know how much I've pressed. Listen, let me just say, That's how much. Let me just say mm. what I'm saying, please. Please, mm. please. I don't even want to... I don't even, I, you see what I hate doing on what I've done? I fucking hate this shit. <laughs> I fucking hate it. <laughs> bro, but what have you done? I fed... Listen, let me talk to them. They're trying to start the team. Now they're trying to start the team. I fed hundreds of youths over the space of the years. They're there, you can vouch for them. We had offices in West End to you. Oh, let me finish, bro. Now, go, go now how the CDs work was this. They were, but when you came West End, you saw 20 youths and a sack. Now, what people don't know is me and Rufus had a deal. Mm. So when everyone's CDs, but when your music is getting... Rufus. Rufus, my brother, and all that, everything that's being done back home... Come on. Mm. When it, when, Postman for that one. Come on. Me and Rufus had a situation. Most people don't know that after the time your CD was reaching nothing, it was my street team. I had the licensing to everyone's favourite artists. That was number one. So I sold a bunch of U-Lots teams as well. That street team also, we had a bunch of licensing deal with US people like Clinton Sparks, Come Ups and others. And we was getting a license. So enough of the, most of what was coming out of them sacks was everything else. That's mm. what was feeding the youth. But the deal was, you're doing a three for 10, a mic has to go in there. You're outside all day, you better move some mics. That was the deal. You couldn't stand up in the street team without moving mics. That was the deal. That's how I sold the numbers. And you know about receipts, but we sold. Blood, I fed my... Didn't you cut them off? Fuck it, they taught you. So was it 250 foul or 300 foul? Well, we don't do what it was. I'm you winding you, I'm like we fed kids, we kept people off the streets for years. Two hundred fifty thousand—that's baby way. That's what that's what might have went in mind. Now Do the maths. He's just trying to wind you up. Because but, but what people what people miss what people misread is this. 
when you're running street teams and you keep like like it what it what it what I'll tell you situations you see when I'm moving like 20 kids up and down out of town any one of the street team guys will tell you this this is how it works I went hard if we had to get hotels I went hard on everyone's hotel they went hard on their own hotels if I've got 10 youths I'm going hard on your hotel and your food and your shit for that week there and then I know I can afford to do that off each one of you you're going to sell you're going to make at least two bills a day you're going to bring that back so I can move 10 youths around that was the first, that was one formula. So obviously from then I'm probably making what for me C D, twenty pence, about a pound to manufacture, pound something, about a pound twenty off each C D. It's the numbers, it's the volume that's making it work. You see what I'm saying too? Mm. So it's real. Kids are really feeding themselves. The kids are really getting home with 250 quid in his pocket from selling up and selling CDs and trying to get like it was really a saw it. Don't try to ever mimic my thing. You might work for trains. Mm-hmm. <laughs> are you gonna compare working for trains with that? Big up everywhere working for the trains. Train, yeah. yeah, I'm not dissing them. Like no, you're gonna compare yeah, why? Don't, you're gonna don't, laugh at me. This no, is the other people working on the chains ain't laughing at stacks cool. with fivers in. I get you. I get you. You get me. I get you. What well, you know the companies that um that I wanted to ask. You know, like you said, base something another. Base seventy nine. And the one that Grind Daily is 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 part. Was it believe or something? What are those companies? What are what are they actual? What is their actual purpose? What are they? So believe is a, a digital um, label, and they deal with. Publishing. <laughs> People filling out the forms. <laughs> publishing and... I think it's publishing and, and content. I'm not too sure, but I know publishing. So what is their purpose? What do they do? We'd help with numbers? Um... Because you see, like, as somebody, like, with a, with a channel, yeah, mm-hmm. and I have loads of people, uploads uploaded onto my channel, yeah. what would be the benefits of me partnering with a company like that? Oh. Like, are they going to have my numbers even doing even more numbers? I should think so, yeah. So that's what they yeah, do then. Yeah, 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 so yeah. basically, they partner with these companies to skyrocket their their numbers. It's all, it's which a, it's, is all... It's, it's which a technology. Is so then if they it's give them... technology, then, right, Yeah, so. yeah. So like, like, for example, I've had conversations with like the label recently about the whole NFT stuff, for instance. And then if they own so, them, they could be having yes. them on playlists in all different kinds of yes. other places just constantly so generating numbers? money that you don't know about. Yes. And they'll put you on playlists. And stuff. All over the world. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Cool. And like, and like, look at it like this as well. See, what, like I said, industries are driven on technology, yeah? So right now we're in the era of copywriting. We're in the era of licensing and copyright. This is what the whole NFT, blockchain, it's all this is what everything's about right now. We've gone, we've come out of product. Because we've come out of the product era, the, 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 the physical raw thing. We've done that. We've been in the streaming era. So obviously, as we're in the streaming era, now it's about mag- the magnifying the streams. It's about licensing, it's about who owns what, who takes Ownership what. Ownership and everything. That's what everything's about. So when they when when that when life became that, because and this is how and I, I, I listen, I'm not a bitch, but I'll tell you one thing I did realise. When we was making Mother, mm. there was a day we was all in the studio, yeah, when we were actually come, and we had mm. a discussion about NFTs. And there was a conversation I had with her, I'll never forget this, and it made me realise something's not right. And i never forget, she was there. And I went, I went to him, because um, we were talking about NFTs, I'm saying, yeah, this is what I'm doing right now, I'm sitting down with man, blah, 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 yeah. blah. And I remember you said, like, why? Why are we talking about NFTs? Why are you sitting down with man, go on. But yeah. And I remember I said to him, like, bro, you're in a good position. Like you must be in a really good slot. Because he's got so much content. Because you've got so much content. content. So I remember, like, no, but it was his, stuff it was his dismissiveness of it mm-hmm. that, sh- that shocked me. You remember, like, oh, fuck, I'm not really interested. It sounded like jumble to me. <laughs> no, he does know. But because you see, if they have owner, if these companies have ownership over all of these artists, in the in the met, like with all our NFTs and stuff, when it all comes to, when it comes yes. back, if they start re-uploading everything, can they own it? How much numbers is that going to be? Loads. Do you understand what I'm saying? Loads. Like when you really check it, even Prince, there's there's, there's there's NFT. there's massive yeah. artists, yeah, like Prince and all of these type of artists that passed away after just getting their master their 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 ownerships of their catalogs. Oh, you don't think what I'm saying like, now? That's, what's been, what's that's what's one of the most biggest things mm-hmm. with like the American artists is owning your masters. Mm-hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? But that goes so back when, to, so, so that goes back to what I talk about the relationships between industry so, yes. and blacks in America. Like, you'll see this thing now. There was a little bit of grey area in streaming coming, but you'll see a lot of situations in America now where men are getting their masters back. Mm. Who's I who's heard got their masters back for free the other day? Sierra, she got her masters back for free the other day. But, like, their awareness is different now. This generation of kids that are going through now, so even when you look at the drill artists in America, yeah? How many drill artists are under certain men? Like, say, say, here, let's say Dirk. Remember when French grabbed Dirk? Remember when French grabbed him? That was his learning. Greenwood, I don't know. Remember French yeah, yeah, yeah. That was his learning. Yeah? yeah. You but remember when and you and you notice the others, what happened to them? Boom boom boom, that was his learning. Now let's pick another uh, pop. Mm. Fifty that's his learning. Mm. Yeah? Uh, who else can we pick? Fabio. 
all the old heads love Fabio. And they're, they're stealing, like, like all the you time. just said. These lot mm. are getting left with these vultures, bro. Yeah. And the vultures are sending them up the road. Now we, and also, we've got the white boy problem. There's a reason the white boys are getting the But, Mike, you touched on something when you said, like, they're taken out of your kid's mouth. Yes. So, like, even artists that pass away and stuff, a lot of them, in artist world, your music most most of the time is worth more when you're gone than even when you're that's alive. That's what happened with Alice. And so Alice if, your was pass, about if something happens, God forbid, you know what I'm saying, because we all have to pop, I'm just saying, God, you know, and your, your catalogue is worth millions and millions... How do your children? I, exactly. And See, your people like, look, have look at this scenario now. Catalog. Look at this scenario now. Saying, well, now if I would have died, you become a proper if I would have died, classic, that song. None years of my family years could to it come, back. if they're sampling off of your music, they're still mm. year in year out going to be claiming off of you. Do you understand what I'm saying? If I die tomorrow, all those songs that my love, my son never gets them. That song that you just found out, your son never gets that. That's what's here. So these men, are, and what what it is when I, when I watch what he was doing, it's like he's trying to trivialize to people who like him. Like, yeah, I've just got your things, crazy. But because people have been so desperate, because we've been dealing with nothing but desperation and predatory behavior within our within our culture. Skins, you know, what's it? What's it? Yo, yeah, my brother, we're, fi- we're filming this podcast, you know, say hello. Oh, say it, my brother. Say it, my brother. Where I going from? My brother, Skins in the building, you know already. We're on this podcast. Come on, I'm going to phone Big you. Big Skins. Brother. Big Skins in here. Huh? Yeah, I'll show you how to finish. Try to finish. All right, my brother. What's it? Yeah, my G. You do you have him up here still when you, when you get set? Yeah, my G. Say it now. I'll show you him Yeah. Come on, man. I'm Sheffield. Oh, my love, my nigga, though. Um, so, this is pretty, this is so, going forward, anyway, let like, fuck with that. Going forward. I'm saying to people, imagine we had a, state, a channel now. And on that channel, you've got legal, you've got accountants, you've got a system where you can log into, see your, you see your stats, see your analytics, know what you're doing, know who you contact. Do you know how simple that should be to do? if you know how to run a business. Now, someone said to me, Mike, you shouldn't say that out open because people might want to do it. And I'm saying, that's exactly what I want done. This ain't for me. If everyone goes and does that and says to everyone's subscribers, jump with me, then the youths, as long as the youths and as long as the people coming that have got their numbers and their figures and their so deals. You should, so basically, you're saying that if, if an artist comes to them, I should be able to can say, you know, like on Instagram, everybody's got their... Um, their insights. Yes. So you can see how much people mm. watched you and what's yes. So basically, you're saying that you, sh- as an artist, if you get uploaded, even if it's an, even if it's annually, you should get yes. a breakdown because you should. That's if what you have your own channel. Me. They let you know how much people mm. watched and etc. etc. And that's what fucked up Joe Budden's podcast. Because when his co-host wanted to see the audit numbers as to see what happened for why they was getting, they didn't get their pay. And you remember Nick one thing? And he, that's when he got a bit shake, he got thin because he knew mm. that he didn't give them what was owed. Yeah. Do you understand yeah. what I'm say saying? Again, say again. Joe Budden's podcast. Yeah. His oh, with more than with more, yeah, 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 yeah. Remember, they yeah, wanted yeah. to see the numbers. But Joe's a G, though. And Joe Joe's never wanted to show the numbers. Do you understand what I'm saying? Joe Biden. Okay, okay, okay. He never Joe's wanted to show the numbers. Mm. And that's what fucked up the team. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Because they're like, well, if you said it was this, yeah, and yeah. whatever, whatever, mm. the audit, our, our people want to see the, the, num- the audit. I mean, yeah, but look, look, Do you get what I'm saying? The truth is, yeah, business is business, but business has to be fair play. So if you're running a business, then you have to do it in fair play. That's all this is about. Now, with me, you didn't do something fair play and you've landed on the lap of a maniac. Now you've got a problem. Because and a maniac knows what should, what should be done. Fine. Now, a bunch of... This might not happen to someone else. But it's happened here now. So now we're asking for fair play. So, going forward... See, the thing with, 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 with my man's problem is this, the past is what's going to fuck him. He might have said last year, I'm doing it for properly. You, you, that might be the case. Because obviously, Joey's offering splits. They might have said that. But the past is going to fuck him. Mm, yeah, does that make sense? When he knew what he was doing, do you get what I'm saying? And he weren't splitting, he weren't saying that, and then it. But now we know why when artists normally get signed, the label normally drags your videos off of all of the. You know, like sometimes, like what you've done before. And companies they like this make that. They normally, like when you're going to be, when you're, when you're, when you get signed and stuff, mm. some artists from back in the day, they would, their, the labels would grab all of their old stuff, what they had before, off of the channels. 
you know what I mean? Yes. That they'd yes. have to come down. And companies that's like this before. is why they would link so they can protect them from that. Yeah, because it happened, with, it happened John, with, with, over, with, 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 with Jay and UK yes, Overstood. Yes. He so had a lot protection. of original videos from you know, loads of artists that hey, started that are big. Do you know I want to say something? when they blew, they took them down off of his channel. I want to say something live on air. Mm. Same way my man did about my man. Well, I want to apologise to Jay. Yeah, you got to. You got to be good. Yeah, I want to apologise to Jay. Because like, like they've been saying that from me, time me, ago, me, 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 me and Jay had a big row one yeah. time about this, and he was so passionate about it, I couldn't understand why. And to the point we fell out, and we got some crazy talk. But Jay's always been a good friend of mine. I won't lie, good good friend of mine. But he was so passionate about what these lot were doing. He was he wouldn't fuck with it, bro. And because and and I wouldn't listen. And people didn't listen, and we fell out to it, bro. And I got to apologize. <laughs> yeah, he was right. Well, he must be saying that when he mm-hmm. sees what's going on, he must be. I know he must have. Yeah, he, he's laughing. No, you know he must. Remember, must be saying. What the fuck did I say? But this is about me. It's not about, about me. This is about what, what, what's happened. <laughs> I want my I, listen. I want my rights back. I want to do all that. And yeah, I want to like. If we can help set the president there, that, that it can be a fair, fair play. And also, not only that, is that the predators in it know that now there's people that can tell you that all the predators are over there. You know. Like, blood, I'm telling you, like I said, I'm not even saying, listen, this isn't a racial thing neither when I say the white boy problem. But I'm telling you, there's a reason that a lot of white artists are getting signed and then budgets are everybody's. And if you look at the numbers, there's a lot of pet projects going on. And then that's a separate energy, but there's also a lot what of... What I will say is you did, you did touch on something where, like you said, in order to actually get him out to actually want to do an episode to, to address something... If it was a minor situation, he wouldn't need to do. He that. wouldn't need to do it. That's and if he knew it was, and if he also knew it was total bullshit, he wouldn't address it. You know, like with normal artists, like a bigger artist, they're not gonna address. You know, they always say, "I'm not gonna even address." You know, a lesser artist, or if it's not worth my while, or yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. So the fact scary. that he's that's actually scary. stepped in front and had to something is raising questions for me. Like. Do you get what I'm saying? I know Rashid well, I, well, listen, he knows, TV or whatever. He's had legal stuff but before. So he it's knows making me sense. raise my eyebrow, don't, don't you think? Mm. Do you understand? Like, I have questions. Do you get what I'm saying? Listen, he, he's had legal things before, so he knows how long it takes. So he knows that whoever's advising him, and we that's what I'm saying, say, we, today, in the last few days, our, what we think might have happened is kind of flipped on its head a little bit, and it's making a clearer picture. So I say the words, I say the words, we think that whoever advises him I said, get out in front. And I've had press officers before. I had the Talisa case, but I know about all this. Like, so we think he's being advised on what he should do next. And getting out, and remember, remember this, if you're working with an, a situation where you said something is one way, you said it's this way, now that situation's like, yo, what are you talking about? What's all this? What's all this? You've got to go out there and say, yo, you have to. You have to, because if not, what the situation, remember, the threats, remember, we're talking legal this way, mm-hmm. but we're not thinking, Olin, whoever he's cut the deal with, we don't know if they're feeling like they're fucked now. Mm. So that might be legal another way. And that's how you're saying. saying come much. with the lawyers. He wants you to come with that. <laughs> you're saying silly things, Mark. No, so we just spoke to the lawyer about finance before this, he wants, he wants, he wants, he wants that. He wants that. Smoke. Yeah, yeah, come he wants on, that yeah. smoke. You get me. But listen, listen, but this, listen, this, say, is, this is, is some battle. This is this is the reality. The reality. The reality. Not what's going on. There's really no link up to you. So that's what is. That's 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 another thing that's quite alarming to There's me. There's no link up to you. When you upload your video to Link Up TV, if you ever Dissolve. have any qualms or anything, which company do? Who do you go to? Base. Huh? Like, who do you email? You, do you go to? Do you DM? Uh, uh, no, uh, what, what do you do? Who do you, who do you go to? I know, I've never had a straight um, email from the cup. I don't know. I no idea. Like, Joey, the man. The, Joey, like, Joey, that's who you go to, Joey. And he is? Because that's what I just said. Yeah, but what is his title in the company? Like, who is he? So that's another thing. Like, it's like knowing your rights, isn't it? As a black man, you have to know your rights when you step out on the road. Do you understand what I'm saying? So people are going to have to know, like, if it's a company, but that's actually something, because who is the company? Because if these things are coming, if these things are coming to light and people need to know their numbers, people want to know what they're entitled to, if they have whatever, who do you go to? That's, this is where we're having these problems. <laughs> this is where we're Because he, remember, he sat there and said, I could have got him at any time. If I could have got him at any time, we wouldn't be having these problems. Mm. But like, I don't, they, they don't live, it's not reality. You know, this is my point. So he has to make this a war between me and him because the reality is bigger than him, myself, 
And it, listen, I don't want a man to know I'm not out to kill. I'm not out to kill or wound or do anything to anybody. You know, that's not the motive of this. Smack him up from wherever, wherever. But that's not the motive of this. Like, don't get it twisted. Like, I'm watching a man do me a wrong and like Rude. strong as well. But cool. That tells me we know what we're doing. That tells me we're going in the right way. That tells me that Rude. there's others like you. So it's not even. I'm not. I don't even want to get my head in that space. I really don't because it's just a drawer. It's literally oh, yeah, not, yeah. not else but a drawer. Right, and uh, gigs. I want to pick up gigs like gigs like the the cat brand. What's that thing? Drag the cats back in. Yeah, you bring me up. Shut up, man. Gigs ain't done one behind bars for you. You only do shit. You shit your mind games. Do you get what I'm saying? Like if Mike don't punch in your face, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even putting myself in. Listen, bro, I'm drawing pictures. Okay. That, but you see my miserable dumb. mornings? Yeah. What, what do my miserable mornings look like? I draw pictures. Come with your dumb stop, mind games. I'm all right, bro. I'm, I'm like, listen to what I'm going to do. And I want to make it very clear, like, to... I want to say... I um, just don't... I ain't got time, bro. You know, like, just shut up, bro. Don't be rude, innit? Hmm. You know, I'm just pissed I got drawn out in the first place, if I'm honest. Like, the fact that I knew that I didn't... Every, every emotion I didn't want to be in in this process that every emotion has... The only silver lining about this thing... I'll be honest with you, bro. Like, everyone around you can tell me, bro. I can tell you this. When the personal attack started, like, when I saw the video yesterday, I said to my BM today, I saw the video, I'm seeing what he's trying to call me, how he's trying to paint the picture. If I wasn't mentally ready for all of this, it would it would have affected... And then when I look at that, and even when he took down my video, I remember saying to Joey, like, <laughs> you look crap map. Imagine I cared. Imagine I cared about this rap shit. Because you're, you're saying I care so much, so imagine I did care. This would be killing me. You're trying to kill me. You're, not, you're trying to make me commit suicide. So, like, the fact that you're doing that, I know why you're doing that, which is cool. I we don't, we don't, we don't want to go on to that. But now, now the silver lining is there's actually something positive. Oh, let me just say something. There's, there's something positive which is going to come from it. So then, like, when, he started, when, when he was doing the field, when all that was happening, you've got to remember where, where man's life's been and what, what we're due to lose and what's, what the plan. Blah. I mean, I'm in a 15-year plan. I've been planning this shit for about 15 years and he knows this. So anyway, so what happened? I'm late, I'm sitting, I'm, my eyes are closed, I'm like, but I didn't feel anything. I just felt calm because I felt like the positiveness that was going to come out of this. I could go into my DMs, I could go into my inbox, I could see the amount of people with common sense in their head that know that something's been wrong and finally there's something which has popped up. They could say, we might get to what's wrong, you know? Because most people know what's wrong, like our kids are killing each other. Like, we know something's not right. We know, like, the hyperventilated state that our industry's in. We know that there's a predatory feeling. We know yeah. something's not right. I but we never knew exactly what it was. This yeah. is a key element to it, because this yeah. is where the, the education gets pulled. This is where a lot of things happen. So I if we can they, replace yeah. this, yeah. we can do a lot. And that's what, for me, all of the personal attacks, all of the shit, even looking like a mug posting a hundred things, it's worth it if, at the end, we can set a president. And I'm seeing what's going on, and I'm saying, yo... No matter what, things will change, bro. Mm. This ain't about win or lose. Listen, wars are one in attrition, you know? Mm. So if you want to be real businesses, be real businesses. Cool. Things will change. Mm. That's all that matters. So that thinking is the only thinking which is making me keep this level of calm. Yeah. And knowing that finally, people are going to realise, yo, I'm not mad, you know? <laughs> like, I don't like you lot. That's cool. Mm. We're cool with that. But I also feel like age is an honour. Mm. Yeah, I think age is an honour. All this time, and these guys want to have fun about, oh, he's the old, he's 50, this, he's 50. I wish I was 50. Inshallah, I'll make it to 50. Do you understand what I'm saying? When you know what I'm saying? Because there's people that just I drop see, yeah, out. And then they're I mean, saying yeah, that people that just listen, drop listen, out. And then they're saying, oh, no, he was so no, young, you know he was saying, so young. People that just drop out. I'm enjoying every inch. I'm enjoying every inch of this age. I would say age is an honour. It's a rough honour, I'm enjoying every inch of this age. And I know it's that as soon as you reach certain ages, it's like, yeah, you're da 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 But like, my thing is... Bad man, but I'm not 30. You're 30 now though, innit? Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? That was just that like was um, a Merkel man. But I'm saying that like, no matter like you get what I'm saying, yeah, I'm bad man, but I'm not thirty. Yeah, you're thirty yeah. now, bro. Everybody you're past has 30. to get there. That's what you I'm saying. Everyone saying. thinks they I don't have when, to get there. I remember when I was young and I used to look at man that's thirty. Do you get me? Old man. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. But then you reach where you reach the level. You have to know the same thing. I always say to people, the thirties were the thirties were harder than the forties. What you have to me and you have to realize is you got to wonder what you're gonna look like or how you're going to be or what your lifestyle is going to be at that time. Because all Listen, of us, all of us... Let me I was just, Young let me just Spring. Land, let me just I mean, land. my name is Young Spring. We don't all do this. All, all, all of us know... I'm saying it, yeah, though. No, just all, to oh, say oh, what you're saying. Are, no, say, say what you're saying. Oh, we just don't do it. Okay. Let's I'm land. saying... Yeah, well, let me just say what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we know the beginning from the end. We don't know the end from the beginning. 
life is short. Nobody knows what's going to be for the next person. Do you get me? A big life lesson in all of this, what I can see is ownership. Yeah. You need to start owning your own things. You see, like if we did yeah. RTM That's podcast it. show on That's somebody it. else's platform, we fell out, all our things would be taken That's off. It. That's, That's, it. That's why we That's chose it. to do it on our own. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we didn't run to the hub. Do you get me? That's why we didn't run to the hub. What I'm trying to say, what I'm saying is, you got to know, you got to know about... Everyone wanted to go to the hub. Well, you got to know about this. TV base 79, and then after phone, yeah, you got to know about that. Well, you got to know, what you got to know about this microwave industry is, you're only, um, you're only worth something to them while they can use you. As soon as they can't use you, they're you, you're useless. Do you understand? Yeah, and you and him, like you, just, like you said on no. the last episode, what you was doing with us, he was your brother. He knew how certain Mad. things felt. He knew how close Crazy. your project was to your chest, innit? But now he's on podcast talking about 50, living in the past, TV, mocking everything what you do. Yeah, but he wasn't he was saying even, that on no, the phone. No, I said... I when said, you lot was cool, do you but, know what I'm but saying? But you understand? He didn't... He was even... On the podcast, he didn't just say you was wrong about that. He was actually <coughs> insulting your intelligence. Mm. He didn't know those things when he was doing the podcast with you. He didn't know that you was a 50-year-old getting up, smoking your spliff, watching dark and cold DVDs when he, was, when he wanted to do mother with you that's why you need to know what people's uh, intentions yeah. are when they come to work with you yeah. look in people's inner <coughs> that's why I deal with energy do you know the funny thing do you thing understand what well? I'm mm-hmm. saying mm-hmm. because if my I don't care what you look like I don't care what you're saying to me I'm dealing with your energy because yeah, you see from I can see darkness I'm keeping it pushing you know, and the thing is, is that he's, moving, he's moving like the darkness is coming from, from this you because he said everything on your team is negative 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 rare 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 like you don't do your thing but the truth is bro like not like that and I don't even cause see with me fam Shit. see like even when I'm getting mad with Rashid and all that but for me to even say things to him see for me to say things or put down Rashid I swear down yeah well lie I feel like I'm bullying that's how much I don't rate him as a rude boy do you get what I'm trying to say so I don't even want to say but I just can't believe the rudeness that he came at because I watched it but I actually expected him to come diplomatically and you know he's explain hurt. himself he's hurt. and he's not hurt. be he's rude hurt. and he's hurt. He's hurt. like what are you talk even like even with the thing and I was just thinking bro like man it's stupid as well like little things man saying like yeah do you know like why are you even talking about gigs and all that shut up man like just little yeah, things because I know what you're running in do you get what I'm trying to say I'm not like do you know what I mean what is, what, what is what it is he has to draw me out in order for this to work but that's what I'm trying to say the thing and this is where God 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 God, God yo I'm God, the thing God is, is me and my mom was cool you check know? this though hear this though God is great I'll tell you what happened yeah when the gravitate hit me of what's going on cause you gotta remember like bro like I said I've never played the industry game you know I don't fuck with this shit but I mean, I wanted the people to see for a little minute that this thing's too gazy to a certain extent not all of it but a good majority of it like, and, 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 and be able to be in a place where we can say like this is what's happening and people paying attention yeah we're here now so like when this first happened when that realisation started to hit me like hold on Mike you could start because my phone I'm, I'm speaking to all the right people right now good people like there's other platforms that I'm saying bro you lot need that idea you got I'd rather help give you the idea and you lot do that with your platform and that, that's what I'm on I'm on LinkedIn who's doing the right things and and if they need like the information to help I'm on all that We've, if, if they want legal and all that we're on all that so like so when that's like dawned on me that, that that could happen everything that he was going to say or do it, it didn't it, 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 I no longer heard it does that make sense like because mm-hmm. The grab like, and that's why God's great because He gave me the Talisa case already. He gave me the bait mates already. He gave me the bits already. Like I'm fully equipped to say <laughs> I'm good, you know. Like, what's gonna happen? We're gonna sit back in our real life. <laughs> you know, come on yesterday. What I say yesterday? We're gonna sit back in our real life. I put a little bad beat on something crazy. Like my life's crazy. Get the, the whatever. But. So at the end of the day, we're gonna go back and return to our real life when the shit's turned off. I don't wanna be involved in none of this shit, bro. I'm moving forward, like, what's like, cause do you know what? Don't, can't you see nothing? Can't you see, can't you see yourself patterning back with Rashid at all? Yeah. Like to even sort out, cause you might even be able to help him, bro. Yeah. Bro, let me tell you something. Like, I see his, he's like, oh, I've never worked with Mike and all this. We never worked together anyway. It's my no, but he's just saying he don't no, want to do no, what he's also trying to do. Maybe he might. No, he's trying to paint a picture with his clothes. No, this is another thing. He's trying to paint a picture with his clothes. He's trying to paint a picture with his clothes. We was never close. That's the picture he's trying to paint. One day, to, in order to fulfill this thing, he needs to paint, oh, me and we was never that close, bro. The truth is, and this is the truth, and I mean this. But you called him your brother. Yep, I called my brother because he was the last of the lot. And I say this to say this. No, no, but I say this to say this. I'll be honest. This is the God's honest truth here, bro. Mm. You know, come on, man. You know. Yeah, exactly. So what I'm trying to say is that 
with music and with the music thing, yeah, I know it's this anal. I swear to God, it's this anal. Like I said, I've got a devil's out. Why for that? Is this what? It's this, that's what it's called. It means that you're single-minded to a purpose. When Why for that? All right, cool. Fuck it. Let me get to the point. That's that's it, it, that's business lingo. But all right, it's this simple. What the? Uh, it's this simple. Like, it's this funny. It's this funny. Where was I? Where was I? Where was I? <laughs> <laughs> but when I Why? 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 But basically, in a nut, I forgot the fuck I was gonna say. You're a nutter. Yeah, cause why for that, bro? That word. He was saying about him dealing with you. He said he don't want to deal with you no more. Is that where we was at? Yeah, I was just saying like, can't you see you it? Say, can't you see a point? That you can't you see a re- point that you can like, get to reconcile with Is it just a thing where you him? reckon like you lot can agree to disagree that maybe you lot can't work on a project together? Oh no, 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 I like to keep my life as simple as possible. In order to do the stuff that I've got to do in my life, I need it as simple as possible. Everyone around me knows this. Is this a lie, bro? Is this a lie? No. Is this a lie? Simplicity is how we do life. People say, man, like, how can you do comics? How can you do a little bit of rapping? How can you feed your kids? How can you keep it moving? Simplicity, keeping things within their time frames. So, within music, I've got a handful of people that I still talk to. Like, I don't talk to anybody else. I know there's a handful. Jamal was one. Joey was one. Rashid was now and then. Jamal was the other. The guy, Max became the other. It was maybe one or two, but in, within me, and that, that I took pride in that, the fact that I could talk to like three people and still keep my career ticking over. Mm-hmm. Like, that was it. And Rashid made that list. And that was it. And I could swear on everybody I love, my son and everybody forth, that is the truth. That was a, a handful. Because you know me, I don't fuck with, look at my, look at my followers, it stacks up to that. Mm-hmm. So I don't fuck with nobody. That like, was on that list. So we, as far as that list ain't my friends. <laughs> <laughs> like no, they're, they're not. They're not my friends. Yeah, yeah. Spirit, do we not? Do we not talk like this? <laughs> yeah. Like, do I not say I love you to the cows? Come on, man, don't trash your father the throat. This man dark. <laughs> but one day he might say fuck this. And I leave my dog. Click clack. I don't know, my nigga. He goes mad sometimes. <laughs> Boom. Listen, but he's a good guy now. Don't worry. I don't, see, I don't think he's there now. But ten years ago, you never know with this guy. He, he, I love him. Boom. But my point is, like, you put people in the right places to get to where you got to go to in a minute. So as far as them that was, they're not my mates. Jamal became something different later for what he done for me. And that relationship built, because he put me in front of people that helped me with my life. Right. So as far as I was concerned, you're my, you see, that, what the last, when I said last three stars, do you want to give my deal? <laughs> I'm laughing. Go on, my brother, you're my brother forever, you've done something for me. Rashi never done shit for me, ever. I, like, the only, see Skins for me there? Um. That's the only reason I haven't linked them niggas, bro. Skins will be around them and play them something. Yeah, get my can, get my can phone him. I never phone them niggas, ever. Joey was my nigga. Joey, that's why if you go back to Hardest Bars, Mike's number one every week. Joey's sitting there talking about, well, you know, we're not going to get a freestyle from Mike. We're not going to get Hardest Bars, but he's the hardest. Like, Joey was my dog. He hurts more than Rashid. He hurts more than Rashid. But like him, he knows the truth, bro. But anyway, that's a whole different story because I didn't want to rail him because that's having another nerd angry at me. I'm not on that right now. The nerds are dangerous. This is dangerous nerd season. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is dangerous. Nerds are I'm scared of nerds. Like, ask, ask them. Ask them. Ask them. Bro, ask them. Ask them. I'm here the other night. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm beefing with nerds. This is crazy. I can't, I can't no, do this yet. Do you know what, though? Listen. You see people that are uh, that can't say things to your face. Well, we'll say it about those ones. Bro, they, they, those ain't the ones. Bro, that ain't, they're not gonna stab you to. in your chest. Well, you think I don't think Rashid's gonna go police or something? They're gonna stab you in your back. Well, you think I don't think Rashid's gonna police? You think I don't think Rashid's gonna police? You think I don't think Rashid's police? Listen, mm-hmm. Mike, we're gonna close this up here, but in closing, yeah, have you got anything that you feel like you've missed out? Yeah. Because we don't no, want to talk too long on it. Going forward. Going forward. Mm. Again, this is about going forward. Like, so as far as like the investigations to what's actually going on, and the allegations, we're at a point right now where the lawyers got what he feels. We've got we've got a certain amount of names on that list. We're gonna some cases are viable, some cases aren't that viable. And there's also other things that, like we said, there's other things that are popping up on the thing. But for a moment, we're gonna kind of follow what you feel that form, and obviously my own stuff. And in doing that, we're gonna kind of get certain answers to what we think is actually going on. But as it stands at this moment, like I said to you, all my copyrights are still with, this, with these people and as you're finding out yourself, so are a bunch of other people. Yes, no. So there's that part of it, that's one yes, part of it. Well. So, so just to break up, just to break up like how we're looking at it legally. So legally, one, there's, there's, different, there's different parts of it. There's that part, like what's happened with stuff that's already there. Then there's why have our copyrights been given to them? And then there's what is actually going on. 
and then there's what deals do they have? There's so many different things that have to be answered. And in, answer, in trying to answer those questions, I'm sure the people that they're doing business with are going to start asking those questions down. So there's going to, there's going to be all that. that goes, but we, we've all stood in courtrooms. So what he's trying to do now, obviously, is get in front of everything. So he can set a public opinion and drum up. And that's what's actually scary. Because this looks like it might be a campaign or something. So like, does that mean I'm going to get personally attacked for the next seven months because I'm actually trying to help people? Like, that's actually the reality to it now. But cool, it is what it is. So, as long as this guy just sticks within the realms, because we're putting videos on the internet and trying to make it as if you was threatened, like, all of that, that's when you're going into a whole other place. And uh, that's, that's why I'm not interested in anything he's saying. Because I'm not even interested, come on, you know a man's life, but you're being with me. I'm not interested in that. I'm loving my life. I draw pictures for a fucking living. This hand can draw, can draw a man's jewelry set. What am I doing here? Mm. I said to Skins yesterday, we're going to start designing watches. They're going to retail for 30. You're going to, you said, I'm buying the first one, Mike. What am I doing here? I'm not interested in none of this shit. Rapping. Mm. I'm not buying the first one or the second one. You've got to let my rock it. Yeah, you've got to let my rock it and promote it. Say nothing. You've got mad stuff. Say nothing, man. But it might be an RTM, it might be an RTM one round. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Boom, so I'm designing them, bro. So what they're going to retail for, what they make for, is going to be wonderful. Yeah, yeah, man. Anyway, boom. Promote it. So what I'm trying to say is that, where I want to go in life, I'm still wondering whether I can be an illustrator. Like, I'm drawing cards. Like, like, when he's talking about movies and all that, humbly, NFTs, I, said, I said this to you, but humbly, I said this to him. When, when you talk about movies, my mother, like, if you think I'm mother was a good idea. But, bro, black films are downstairs at Netflix, comics and anime is upstairs. I don't care about this game. Like, that humbly, I rap. And if this means people like my rap still, cool, I'm good with that, you know? Like, that's all I want. Like, bro, I rap, cool, you like my rap still. Mm. Apart from that, if I can help, leave a legacy to say, yo, we helped clean this thing up before we got the fuck out of it. Mm. So I know I helped come in it, I helped build it, I helped give you a rap flow, I helped give you parts of that, and we helped give you a little distribution network CD thing, and then on the way out, I'm gonna help you clean it up. My legacy is cool, yeah, I'm cool with that. And I'm still one of the hardest rappers on, on, on the way out the door. I still sound hard on the way out the door. I'm good with that, let me draw some pictures now. Like, allow me, all that bit of my stuff, save it, cause I don't know. And man, keep it, like, man said, like, look what you lot do, you lot got a, <laughs> man, you lot got a podcast. My dog's the only popular. He don't even care about this shit like that. He's about to flip it. Like, come on, bro, man. Yeah. Like, but my point, you know what I'm saying to you? Mm-hmm. Like, we're doing different stuff, bro. This is media now. Like, this is the new media. Yeah, the real voice in the street. That's it now. Just gonna put add that. Like, drop it out now, man. Like, let's just all oh, be. Oh, get me and where? Look, you see, guys, I'm <laughs> saying we're in the streets. We see you get what I'm saying, we're getting love in the streets. Listen, you see guys. I'm not saying they're the voice of the streets, but what streets? Do you get what I'm trying to say? I don't know what streets. Putting you videos in the industry. Making maybe. videos go out and dry snitching. The industry, that, the that, voice I won't even like, listen, I'm gonna address that because I've always showed love to pounds, but that My didn't see you like bus no, driver no, no, but I'm, no, I'm gonna address <laughs> oh, I didn't see them at bus driver listen, 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 like busy scene. No, but listen, I've got to address this, like no matter which way. Can go as well. Listen, let me just address this. Big up big up Capo, big up Capo, Let me say this. Can go. Big up GO7, obviously. Yeah, obviously, big up GO7. Okay, 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 like that's not no that's not that's not that's not that's not that's not, that's not come on bro. you just got more time than me cause you see like see when man give man a platform to chat shit about me and be rude yeah I'm, like, I'm trying to keep it I, I'm man. not gonna respect you do you yeah, just come on. obviously like me and him's cool innit like not cool but I'm saying we ain't got no problem I'm saying if I was you yeah come on bro. <laughs> you get what I'm saying bro. I'm that's the whole thing, thing cause it's all the mind games I'm trying to make man know you see can't everything take, I can't listen, listen, games you see everything that's happening it means nothing to me I can't express it more like the opinions of man it, but I mean it means nothing. It, I have to make, like, bro, some, you see in life, you see if you want to be a millionaire, you have to know how to lose a million. Like, you see if you want to be the person you think you are, like, I think this is bollocks. So how can I make bollocks upset? Why? <laughs> I think this is foolishness. How can I make foolishness upset? Yeah, love, are you kidding me? But do you understand what I'm saying to you? So if I think this is foolishness, if I think their opinions are foolishness, if I think what they talk about, the fake I'm grown world and the fake giving real info, all that fake stuff that I'm always saying is fake. I think it's fake. How can I then be mad with the fakeness coming back at me? Mm. That's how I say, I'll, I'll get a little pop shot to Doug because that's reality. I've been four places and I can see my thing. 
That's just reality. Martin, do you see that one? Mm? Macho. <laughs> He said, some of us can do four, can bench four plays and we can still see our dick. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's just bad, isn't it? Like, I'm trying yeah, to stay in that place. I don't want to go to another place with these lot, bro. I really don't want to. Bro, come on. Waking up, annoyed, mm. hating the world. Hey, man, like, like, it's hot funny. today. You know it's hot today, it's summer. <laughs> come on, bro. I've got to phone these lot. This one's gone <laughs> bad to them, like, and I'm getting the money now. Like, get out of here. Like, blow it. I'm be being, so, being so fat and not being able to see your tickets is wife. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but yeah, no, going forward, bro. Like, if people just Stress. recognize that they're due more and they can do more and they need less, and we can get rid of some of this predatory, because if we get rid of the predatory, we get rid of some of the predators, bro. Because you got members, bro, like, music works in, in technology, so the error of the cameraman was inevitable. Some were going to be cowards, some were going to have good hearts, some weren't, but it was the error of the cameraman. All of a sudden, cameras were the, were the new. With a new viability to get into the game. So yeah, like, D, 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 I ain't letting him chat on you. No, but this is what happened. Now, if you look at people like Jay, let me finish, because sometimes I forget certain things. But if you look at people like Jay, I, I'll tell you what I spoke to him this time. I spoke to Jay from Rhapsody. Yeah, he is a good cameraman. Yeah? And there's RJ, yeah? Mm. Now, if you look at most of the people that didn't succeed, now I look back, they're the ones who had integrity. Mm. It's funny, like, that. No, but it's funny, like, you know what I'm saying, Deluxe? Most of the people that started with video channels and videos, if you look back now, the ones that didn't succeed, now I look back, they're the ones that had integrity. Yeah, obviously. It's mad. So, and even the ones that came out of nowhere, people that we've worked with, like other platforms like we spoke about a minute ago, we're not, gonna, not even the very bad other ones. They would look at you, man, yeah. they, they, they learn. Danny. Danny. Remember, and Danny's press play, and look who's, look who's and dealing with a huge right. Look who's dealing with a huge right. And a lot of the neat ones saying? that had a thing against, uh, against real, real niggas and real people, they made sure well, that also, they didn't make. They made sure that they didn't want their stuff to go. To well, man made friends as well. Man made friends and alliances. So a lot of you got to remember there was a lot of you know nerds making tough guy friends. That mm. went on for a long time. So there's all these little dynamics which all end with the youths not getting the information. Exactly. So like, all I want at this stage is now we have this transparency. Now that's it, bro. Like you said, I said one time to Aggie one time. I think Aggie said it on your show. I you got Aggie, man. We got Aggie all day, all day, all, my, all day, my brother, bro, all day. I once said something to Aggie once day, and I used to live by this. The reason I knew about the CD stuff because Unknown taught me the game. And Unknown, we used to say, as long as you got 100 fans that will buy everything you do, you're good. And it's that, like, independent mindset. And it's like, Sweating, like, and if, if everyone could take on that independent mindset, you got 100 fans, you're good. Like, you build your own channel, you're good. You do everything, you're good. And then we start building from oh, there. I can't believe there's laughter. Well, what's We're good? Do I need to put that back on? No. No, I can't believe there was laughter. Creams no, are amazing. Man. I don't know where that came from. Yeah. Or what memory she just had. Yeah, but I... So, yeah, that, <sighs> girl, that, that's, all my, that's all I really want out of this. Bro. It's a lot. Yeah, so... so mm. We're closing up. So, what else, bro? Cause In what sense, though? Like... I, well, like, legally, I just want to make sure you haven't left anything out. Cause remember, they 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 getting on to me. Well, what really happened? What, what what else really happened? What was there? Any really? Just my my lap. Anything you missed out? Like, because obviously, I don't I mean, really you know what he's talking about. Because no, really, most yeah. of, most of what he was saying was just yeah. He did that to me. Yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. I don't want to say when, when the question. I mean, even when he done the second podcast, and my man put the thing to him, he didn't answer any of the questions. And even the questions he did answer, he doesn't even realize he answered them wrong. And I think well, you, might, you might know we answered them wrong, but like what you said about the image, right? I just don't think that's not right. So like I said, all that what's not right, we're going to find out. But all, all that we seem to have done at the moment is open up the concept to people to find out their own realities. So, Listen, yeah. All I'm going to say to Rashid, yeah, let's talk, okay, let's talk, yeah. Rashid, yeah, he's being very cheeky or whatever. This thing's bigger than me. It's either you apologise or you don't, yeah? That's it. It's either you apologise or you don't. Team's bigger than me. Do you get what I'm trying to say? It's bigger than me. Mine's not telling you, you get what I'm saying? See if you apologise or you don't, fam. And that's it. You get me? You do what you want to do. You get what I'm saying? If you apologise or you don't, it's bigger than me. You get what I'm saying? Go on. We're all minute. We're over here, innit? Yeah. We're all. See if you apologise, you don't, bro. Do you get what I'm saying? I mean, but we are at home. Enfield's a nice place. Yeah. Obviously. See if you apologise, you don't, bro. Hmm. You know, but anyway, fuck that. But like I don't know, bro. Like I, 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 like I said, I just want. I don't. I know I'm gonna be personally attacked for the however long this goes on. And that I'm, I'm ready for, which is cool. The um, if it can make change, that's gonna be what, what it's about. Oh, really, that's it. And if we can set platforms, and I, I'm, I, if I could, set, if I could paint an ideal world, imagine, imagine there was a platform yeah, that everybody's subscribers mm. went to. Everybody, all the, the subscribers that everyone's got, like they went to this platform. And on this platform, 
when you when you put upload your videos, you get a phone call from an accountant and a lawyer, mm. and they tell you about what's going to happen next, and then you're going to get a spreadsheet every quarter, and then you're going to have a login system which you can log into and you can do with customer services and you can have all these things, and that happens normal for everybody that walks through, and then there'll be other systems. Now you might charge for some services, mm. or you might not, or you might do this. Remember when you came into my agency? Remember the, the, the website mm-hmm, they logged mm-hmm, in? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All of that. You have all of that. And then it's normal, and everyone has. What have you got to say to people that say, "Listen, it's this. A, it's a business. They're doing. That is the they're, business. They're doing. They're doing that you a favor. The Listen, they're, they're doing you a favor, not by putting your thing out to all their subscribers. Da, 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 da. Tell me you're my doing thing. me the favor. My Just tell me you're doing me no answer that. Just tell me you're doing me the favor, yeah. and, and show me what the favor is, and I'm cool with that. So if the favor is, I'm giving you all my copyrights. Just tell me, and I'll tell you whether I want you to do that. Because that's what I see a lot of them saying. But my, look, yeah. no, but, yeah, but I'm saying, if you're going to do that, let just tell me you're going to do that. Give me a bit of paper and I'll tell you. So if you say, and I'll say whether I'm cool there you go. or not. Fine. Yeah. No and I, I, I think also as well that be, um, what a lot of these people do behind closed doors, because they not saying that they control people's destiny, because my thing is if God says yes, it's yes. But don't laugh at people's downfall that you help to have a part in. Do you understand what I'm saying? But that, that makes you realise the difference between men. Do you get men. what I'm saying? But that's the I'm difference between men, though. They that like to say, oh, this one didn't make it, this one didn't, and you had a part in it. Do you understand what I'm saying? But that's the difference between men. That's the difference between men. The man said the best behind bars is back to your seat. But that's just the difference in men, though. That doesn't bother me, because that's the difference in men. In other words, even when, and I swear on everyone I love's life, everyone in here can vouch, when I saw my man on the couch, I wasn't, I'm not proud of myself. Because at the end of the day, don't get it twisted. As much as he's done what he's done, mm. there are still the elements that like, he I'm has just done. About listen, him listen. Darth him. Vader didn't become Darth. Darth Vader was Anakin first, you know. Like life's real, you know. This guy sitting on this couch first, a maniac sitting on this couch giving people advice to life. Like life's real, you know. So a man can start a journey one way and end another way. Mm. So it's Obviously. not to say he didn't start his journey in the correct fashion. It's not to say he still hasn't got the correct intent. Intent, but that's what I say. Rush is a good like. But, the, but check this. But let me say this. But let me say this. But let me say this. Let me say this. Let me just say this. Let me say. But at the moment. The statistics, the pay, the numbers, the fact that you 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 don't own the companies, the fact that you, there's no companies that you own, the fact that all our, our, our copyrights are with this company, the fact that I can't, we can't, you know, all these things are happening is all pointing in a direction. Now that's not even a, a attack on your character, because we don't know what happens. We don't know what happened. Fool, you know, man, could put a gun in your face, say, "Oh, give me the rights of your thing, pussy." We don't know. And we but, know that, Eva. No, but what I'm trying to say is you don't know, but we know this has happened. Mm. We know these are the facts. So on that note, bro, stop attacking me because no, it's but pointless. Saying, yeah, but we haven't said directly, nothing personally, like attacking his, his character. We're talking about his, their conduct of how they're dealing with people and their, and, and, and their then, creative but, stuff. Do you but, understand but, what but I'm that saying? That might just be weakness. So that might, in a sense, why I say that, yeah? Like I said, it's the area of the cameraman. We're not it's saying not, it's not, it's not, it, 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 it wasn't the area of the businessman. We're talking about what we're hearing is going on with people. Ice, 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 ice. It wasn't the area of the businessman. It wasn't the error of the, uh, the hedge fund runners. It wasn't the error of the, uh, uh, of the entrepreneurs. It was the error of the cameramen. Mm. Jamal Bass, because he was the first cameraman, he met Branson. He met people that showed him business. Mm. They weren't businessmen. They were cameramen. Mm. I used to run a joke with, with, with my man about the other one, Rashid. He used to but he wouldn't have no cam. But they wouldn't be nothing without the artist. No, I know that. I know that. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, but you're missing my point. Ice, ice. No, you're missing my point. Ice. People in front of the camera. Just no, you're missing my point. I get that. Well, you need us. Otherwise, you ain't got no fucking content. What the fuck are you talking about? We're still found a way to get heard, you know. Good, you'll be hearing me on stream or something. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm talking from. You ain't going. Listen, listen, listen. I'm talking. I'm talking from an industry perspective. It was just the era of the cameraman. Mm-hmm. It wasn't the era of the DJ. De- Remember, before that's the era of the DJs. When you look at the big era, the Nas mm-hmm. era, that's the DJs. They're bringing it into the game. You know what I'm saying, dude? Mm-hmm. That was this has been the era of the cameramen. Mm-hmm. We don't know who these niggas are. They don't even know who they are. Some of them are like 16, 15 picking up cameras. They don't know who the fuck they are. Now the thing is, where man's a real nigga, I can I can get that. But you're doing this now. Cool. You know what I'm saying, dude? But they, we don't know they don't know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. So we thought we know he done what he done. You could have done a bunch of things right. But then one day, blood distills on the table and what I've been do- it, and what I do sense with him is this. I sense this sense of, he, of, of, of deservedness. In other words, I, and this is the danger part, and I've, now more than ever, it's like he actually does he believes that he's entitled because of what he's done for the game. Now, that's the part that says to me, you got the deal. Mm. Yeah, because he said, he said oh, he's, I don't like how he's trying, to me- he's trying to fuck with my legacy and all that. That's the part that's that tells me you can't legacy. do it. Legacy? legacy. Not like that. All right, now rate what you've done and all that, but don't overdo it. But anyway, like what you said is the artist without us mm. there's zero legacy 
You get what I'm saying? Do you get what I mean? But, that big, that big, big up dude though on what he's done though. You yeah. get me, him, Jamal. No, but that's what Jamal, they but it's, like this, but it's like this, it's like this. You know, like, you can't take that. Uh, At the they, end of the day, they, 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 did, they, they did expand the his role. If is, you grab the camera and bust the game, come blood, you create, that's, that's, that's hard. That's hard. Yeah, they, but, they expanded but then, the industry. But then, but then that's not to say that when that moment came, that something changed and life's real and you took because I look but it's me like I, I took I took a, a, a set of kids from saying CDs was, um, to end it in magazines like, if he was dealing with not being like. funny but if he was just if these people were dealing with legacy alone it wouldn't only be about money for them mm. Rashid no, you know, comes from an area where there's bare rappers around him I'm from North West he's from North West bare mm. rappers are like on his doorstep do you understand what I'm saying mm. if he was dealing with legacy you know, like when they say, like you put, like a boss is an, a, a boss makes sure everyone eats. Mm. Do you understand? You would see that through the people that yes. have succeeded yeah, through yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your work yeah, yeah, speaks yeah, yeah. for itself. Yes, 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 We're not, not, not just point. talking about yeah, I that's uploaded a million videos. Yeah, that's not what did those million no, that's videos that's do after point. being uploaded that's on your point. channel? See, do you understand see, what I'm see, saying? See, that's what I'm talking about. See, the thing about our legacy. He's, 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 I know, are you, he's been having no, he said people like, without he, loads he said from long time no, he ago. Said something. I'm he, just he, not he, he, he said something. He said something to a farmer. He said, he said, I've done more for the game than my JLC. And I said, that's cool, because I know I've employed more than all. I've, I've employed more. Hasn't. No, but, but no, hold on, let me say, let me say yeah. the sentence. I know I physi- wages but hold on, hold on, hold on. I know I physically employed more people than all you I was going to say, how much wages do you paid? Do you know what, though, Mike, yeah? He's talking about, oh, yeah, he's trying to fuck up my legacy and all that. What the fuck was you lot trying to do with my legacy? No, wait, what the fuck was you lot trying to do with my legacy? After I got stabbed up by some pussyos and you lot went to destroy my legacy. Like, I ain't done nothing out here in this whole music thing and no one wanted to upload me. Everyone wanted to turn their back on me, you Mm. fucking pussyos. Don't talk about legacy. Mm. Don't talk to... Yeah, I, who the fuck are you about legacy? Mm-hmm. Everyone's Isn't got it? a legacy. Me and my understand? sister was the first female UK rappers doing that type of stuff. You remember, Mike? Do you get 100. me? Enough just because something happened with her and Grime Daily, then all of a sudden, boom, your thing's blocked. You but can't also, go on this, you can't also, go on listen, that. There's a lot listen, of bad stuff listen, that listen. goes on well, behind the listen, industry listen, that people listen, don't talk like about. You're just and putting people out some like history. Like listen, your own history. Trying to fuck up. Trying to fuck up. You have to understand. One of the things that even Spray, me and Spray's had these conversations years ago. I remember, I can even remember rooms where I'm sitting in the office and he, he I'm just fuck everyone, fuck everything. It's crazy looking like a mother. Nah. <laughs> he, at that time, I don't think he understood why it was. I used to call it the Get Along Gang and Boys Club. But I, I'm in this thing so that like, the reason I hit up under Talisa, because Talisa, that set was like, it was a beautiful run through. I can't explain it to you. Her, having her at that time was being able to say fuck you to everything. Like, I don't have to play that game, that game, that game. None of those games we can play this month. So, like, I knew all the games, all the scenarios, all the, pl- all the twisting, and it all boils down to predatory behaviour. But predatory behaviour now is being facilitated by technology, and it's multiplied defence, and they know who they're working it with. Mm. So now it's like a vice hole that people can't get out of, and like I said, we're in this hyperventilated state of numbers, and that's what the youth are trapped in. So, like, if you just open it back up and now show the numbers, show the analytics, everyone gets to play to fit the right game together fairly, you have an industry because that's what the Americans want. Mm. And it's also about being more professional. If you know that you don't get up at a certain time, have an assistant. Mm-hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, they, they said that need, to you. We need that, content. Um, you need content. Out. One of the girls said that to the day saying? after. Um, yeah, and that's, that's how I yeah. look at things. At the, at the same time, things need to be moving efficiently. Do you get me? How about let's just put talent out? Do you get exactly, what I'm saying? Exactly. How about let's and just see, be yeah, talented? Exactly. That's, it, that's why it's so hard said, for people to get to that, where they need to get to. This is one of the reasons why they have a, why people have a problem with me. Because I'm a, a bottom tier artist. I don't do the numbers. I don't even have a fucking blue tick. I'm in the last one. But my talent keeps mm. me here. Mm. So I'm always a problem. Mm. My history keeps me here. So I'm always a problem. So I'm always speaking for the little man who's not in the game. Mm. And the game hate me for that mm. because I'm always pointing out, yo, you man, you know, fuck them, man. I, like, I know who's watching what I'm doing right now and this guy, it goes high, 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 high. And I'm always going to be this. And I, and I knew, listen, what people, and I want to say, I say this humbly, I'm saying this really humbly. When you want to paint that picture of Mike, bro, I promise you this, I would never be here talking this shit if I thought that I needed this career to survive mm. with the life that I've got say, laid out for me. You know what I'm saying too? Sometimes I feel so like now, they so, so now I can talk it the biggest we're picture. Here. They painted the biggest picture because the ones that really knew them are the ones that they didn't take with them. Therefore, you was creating a new you yes. so that you could mind yes. fuck everybody yes. else yes. that yes. came yes. after yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. Period. Because yeah. we all went to school with you lot. 
you understand what I'm saying? We're just not going into everything. But we all know you niggas from school and them thing there. Do you understand what I'm saying? Let's be real. We know who got bullied, who didn't get bullied. We know all of that shit. You couldn't go go with us lot because we knew who you lot was. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, That's what I feel true. like as well sometimes. That's why a lot of the real ones got blocked. Do you know what happened? Do you understand? Because it, it was like it not, was secret yeah, revenge. 100%, 100%. Do you understand? I can't get you in that way, but I'm going to get you in this way. Yeah, police, Do you understand listen, what I'm listen, saying? Listen. Straight. I always say that Straight. Every, everyone... And when you talk out, you're bitter. How is that bitter? We're talking... You're talking up. Do you go... Every, every, if you can't have freedom of speech, what the fuck can you have? I ain't out here to do no fake shit. If that's what it is, then that's what it is. But this, is what I say, but this is what I say. I always say to Spray, like, I don't mind how people think I appear as long as that's not how I feel. So in other words, if I say something on Instagram, as long as, I, as long as I'm not angry, I'm fine. So, like, it doesn't matter what I say. So, like, at this stage, I learned, listen, I learned, to, in order to exist in this environment and be who you want to be and how you want to be, that's just the byproduct of it. And when, so when people do things to assault a tap man's character, whatever the fuck it is, because at the end of the day, there's still going to be a truth in it. Like, if my life's not real, then there's a reason them rap sound the way they sound most so cool. If my if it's not that, then this is gonna hurt me, obviously. Like if it's like life tells you what the fuck you are, isn't it? Like it's cool. I would say to people, I might not have been the biggest, but I've had the longest career for a reason. Mm. But that's why real rap lasts and everything else is short lived. It's like a trend. Do you understand what I'm saying? Life is but like classics remain classics. Do you what's understand what I'm this? saying? Do you like, get me? You know, like if you buy something proper. Like, like even an, an, you know, like how long an antique will last? Even if you buy something new, even like a new build house, it's going to fall you know apart 10 times there. quicker Did than it? a house that was built properly, old standing yeah, Victorian yard built with proper bricks. 100%. Do you understand what I'm saying? So everything that's all trendy now isn't even going to last. But the ones that was real, those are the things, those are the things that the continue. Irony. Do you here's understand what I'm saying? Here's the irony. I say this is the spirit of the day. I make more money from music now than I did at any point in my career, apart from outside of the CDs. Like, I actually enjoy my career now than I enjoyed it at any better time in my life because at this point, people know what I'm saying. Like, you see, even when I watch this whole scenario play out, yeah, one thing I want to say, you see my, you see my, bro, I don't even want to use the word fun, but you see my people that supporters fucking love them, bro. Mm. Like, you see my, I fucking love them. I sat there and like, I say, like, the best, by, I would say the best byproduct of music here yeah, is if you stood for something, the people that follow you know you, and eventually you become their voice. Like, a man said something a couple of days ago, he said, Mike, just don't want your man to enjoy your icon. You've got to realise their audience, and this was a man from another channel as well, man said, their audience is on the internet. They're going to keep on making you appear map to the audience, but you've got to realise, bro, we're all right. We're Some of your fans are details, though. <laughs> you stop beefing with them. Yeah, that's what I'm having to. It's like, don't go on the art and podcast show. Spray's going to turn it into a circus. Suck your mother. <laughs> but anyway, but anyway, check this down. So anyway, it's a fucking... Like, when I look at, like, the fact, like, the best byproduct of music is, like, after years, people know you. So after a while, he said to me, like, bro, you got real. your fans don't go on the internet. People that follow you don't go on the internet. And even when I used to do the CD shit, I used to say to my all the time, the best, I used to, and I used to sit in a hotel room at the end of the day and count up how many CDs were sold. And I said, you know what the best byproduct of this book is, bro? These CDs are going to be left in people's homes for years. And that will make man live a little bit longer. And I was right to that. Because no matter what the bars have been in the world, no matter whether I've got a song, a hit, or not, I put a song out for 20 years, but the bars are out there. Like, mm. do you know what I'm saying to you? So, like, I always kind of knew that. You know, if you can just keep it normal, you can just keep it, you can think, but that isn't what I was saying. But yeah, but I get what you mean. Like, nobody knows what things are going to be worth, innit? Yeah. It's just like, just hold on to stuff and look Just up. be you. Yeah. Be yourself. So, oh, sorry, so I go back to the support. So, even I go back to, like, the supporters, I look at, like, the people that know me now, they really know me, bro. So, even scenarios like this, I don't need to, like, I'm enjoying it more now, but in my 30s, I was lipid, like, it was, it was bare hate. But now it's like, these are people that have been with you. You stuck to your goal, you stuck to your morals, you stuck to your perspective, so you speak for people. And those people now in turn can speak for you. And I'll tell you something, I love my supporters, bro. Like, and I wouldn't change. If people, this, this ideology people have of careers, I tell, but I wouldn't change mine for the world. Oh, that's like me. Like, see, yeah. like when people DM me, they say, oh, you, you. Bro, like, I, like, you, I wouldn't change it for I've the world. I've done a whole sentence with you and read, read, read. read. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I can look and think other Someone, people are more exactly, successful exactly, than me. Exactly, exactly. 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 You get what I'm saying? Yo, when you were talking about. Yo, there's certain rappers. Yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you something. There's certain rappers, no matter how big they are, they judge as one of them. The man like a judge, they're certain rappers that. No matter what their tra- trajectory be, 
they could be happy never change for I said to myself like bro I, when, when, when I came back around into music after because poor people don't realise when you got all them behind bars the reason they were spoken word on the end of everything because that's all I was interested with I wasn't interested in the rapping part mm. I, was, I was doing remember the times doing spoken word that's why me and Jamal said we're going to rap over pianos mm. so like that's all I, I just wanted to reach the most artistic part of myself and pull it out that's my only interest but I have no other interest in music not money not fame not nothing I just want to be the most creative I can be that's why I'm the one doing spoken word on behind bars who else done that mm. cool who else judge your, judge your me, yeah obviously because that's what I'm talking about. Like, who's rapping over pianos and all that? You know what I'm saying? I said, this is what I'm on. Who, who they're making films and raps? I'm on this creativity. That's the only reason I'm back here. That I had one motive. I said, yo, if I go to my grave, known as one, I don't care what the fucking list says. I'm going to go to my grave, one of the hardest this country's ever had, mm. one of the blueprints. I'm good with that. Mm. I'm cool I'm with that. My mm. stuff, I'm good. Yeah. Like, like, like I said, anyway. My nigga, don't call my name and make sure man remember my like, I'm good one, with that. One of the greatest Bob Marley mm. spoke about being rich in life. He don't look at what how he sees riches and how everyone sees Come on, riches bro. is different. Come on, I know I'm rich in life already. Come Somebody on. might can have a number one hit or whatever, but they're fucking depressed. They're living a toxic life. They're a little man clown or whatever. I don't know what's no, going they, on. They got, they I'm rich in life, innit? Yeah, I've yeah. got my two kids. No, I've got my what's it called? I'm content with what's it called? If a one little element ain't what you lot think is is successful, that's up to you lot. But from I can sleep good at night and everything and my family and everybody's good, then I'm good with that. But you know what? Do you even, get what I'm saying? Even when I see people do that thing about, you know, this man's life and that man's life, I say the truth. I swear this from the deep part of my soul. I actually just think, bro, whatever you're saying, I just hope you're good when you close your eyes. Exactly. That. Like, I don't care. Like, whatever you put out in the world, because you know, you know me, Spirit. Mm. Spirit actually knows me. Spirit knows, Spirit, like, he knows man, you know. You see, with the man, them, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an odd one. Like, I, I love too much. I'm too nice. I don't, I don't have to be nothing, though. I actually don't have to be nice at all like <laughs> you know like but spray nose I'm, I'm a good guy it's my weakness too but I'm like this though like it's the man then like I'm the one that they don't know with the man then switch so cracking jokes like man I'm presenting on the bus you know like I'm like this for true so whether man want to rub off that energy but I'm like this you can't you can't tell me what I'm not like I'm like this like I rap and I draw pictures and stuff I write poetry uh, I read meditations. Like, you can't style me about dark energy. You dumb. I, got, like, I fast twice a week and sit in a, a cold bath and have a cold shower and do meditations. Mark Eros, Mark really so sense. Are you mm. talking to, bro? You're not here. This is where we are. You're not here. So what you're doing, it doesn't even register to me. Oh, boy. Close anyway, that's how they got negative. They got yeah. negative. But my point is... Lift it up. Well, we've been closing up for about an hour. Yeah, I know. Yeah, because... Yeah, no, no, you got anything to ask him, Cream, Cream Moss? Or? No, because I was going to address that because he was saying about the, his, your frequency or whatever, but yeah. Yeah, go on, because you know you and your frequency. Yeah, too. but yeah, no, I was just. No, but Cream, no, 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 on a real note, yeah, Mike can give out the wickedest, darkest frequency. Of course we can. Of course, like, who else are we? Mm. Of course we can. That's mm. what this is all about. That's what this contrast is all about. This is why they write, this is why they're making films about my mother's story. It's that contrast. I'm writing a story about a woman with that contrast mm. that came from another woman with that contrast. What conversation were we having last night, bro? Mm. Yeah. How does the line go? Grandmom than me. That's what I'm talking to you about. This is me. Yes, the dark, the dark energy can be here. Of course it can. <laughs> <laughs> of course it can. But, and you quick, quick it up. Yeah? But ask them where the love is, though. But ask them where the love is, though. But ask them where the love is. No, but check this. No, fuck balance. Ask them about my love. Balance. Ask them about my love. Ask them how I love. That's the yeah. balance. My, yeah, but That's it's the big. Balance. Is my love not big, evil. right? Is my love as, not big? See, as good as you are, yeah, is as evil as you are. No, see, is like, my love not big? Enough, if you, I always see, say, like, yeah. you say, see, Smith. Come like on. me and Smith will go and come treat on. you them swimming and it's evil. Come on, evil. come on. Do you get what I'm saying? Come on, evil and I'm well, well, good. Come on, as well on the on the other side of like, it. I just feel like, however on your extreme, is, come on. Yeah. however your That's extreme the... is on this, come on. you will have that on that. But bro, so the man is not the man that loves really deep. If you get that way, the man has never been that way. But see, people talk to me like, you know, my way. Come on, when you talk to me about, come on, you know, I don't know violation from none of the man them. Man, can't tell me about. I don't relate to that. No, no, I'm a middle ground. None. What type of middle ground, man? I don't know about no middle ground. I don't do that. Like, I don't have no middle ground. I'm here or I'm here. Zero or 100. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but my point is, yeah, my point is, whatever oh, energy yeah. you received, it was whatever energy was... But what you're doing is carrying that energy and making that the moment when you definitely know that was not... But it doesn't even matter whatever, whatever you're doing. Yeah, what you're doing is what you have to do. But, and yeah. so, so be it. Mm. So just trying, to just trying to close this up, yeah, so yeah, Cream, yeah. Cream showed me a thing that she needs to go to toilet like about half an hour. <laughs> I know, I know. I was like, I need to go. 
like, I'm trying to not say it on camera, and I'm like, my, I'm like to my look, he's got to do I'm like, this to spray look, and he's got, I'm like, I didn't want to walk off the I thing, know, but it's all good, it's all good. But mm. you nah, it's cool, yeah. man. Be, uh, mm. Here, family, come to my yeah. home. Yeah. Send D locks off. My brother. Nah, big up D as well, man. You get me? Big up D, man, coming <laughs> true. Coming yeah, true as well. <laughs> Like, yeah, I me. Mean, I know we're always mm-hmm. having jokes on you, but Sony jokes, okay. blood. Sony banter. I have jokes on everyone. <laughs> nah, man. Even Mike, you get what I'm saying? <sighs> Old fucking life. Nah, honestly, we bought this. You got, you got anything to say to Rashid personally? Bro, just Joey. Oh, we... No, you know what, Joe? Oh, right, no, I'll tell you this. Joe, I'm upset. I'm not even upset, Joe. You, whatever. You know, if you've got to do what you got to do, cool. Joey's just a loyal guy, man. Yeah. If Rush, just stop now, bro. Because everything you're doing is just making things worse. Are you going to have your lawyer call his lawyer? Oh. Or are you still taking that route? Or I don't want to talk stuff. No, but I'm, I'm just... I'm just I'll, I'll this it. is what he wants I'll to know. I'll answer it. When we, when we find out what company Rashid might own, because right now his name is on no companies, when we find out where he even exists, then we might hit his lawyer when we find out if he even has a lawyer, because right okay. now he don't even exist. Like, yeah, I'm, but has he, have your stuff been released yet? No. No. So, so that's the first stop. The first stop is starting to get. The, we've we've re-off the base. Basically, like we we re- off the base. We've done the official documentation. Is called. And we're in the process of preparing the, a preliminary notice claim to base. 79, and only when their side of things is clear will we contact Rashid. That's the lawyer. That's okay. Right. So we're going to start. The, we're going to start the steps at first. But as it stands at the moment, no, I don't have my rights back. And no, you, if people start doing what you're doing now, they're going to keep on finding what you just found today. Mm. That's going to happen. And yes, people should hit them and start asking for their money. Mm. People should start doing their investigations. They should start doing their maths. All the people in the phone that we got, if some people have been phoned already, That's, some people have been contacted, some yeah. people, we're going to look at which cases actually make sense. So we're just doing the real things, but you see all the centralization, the personal battles, the war, the me versus link up, like all that is just semantics. Like, yes, I, I really don't want all of that. And if, if Rashid stops doing certain stupid things to make him, for whatever mission that he's got on, we don't, need to, we don't even need to discuss things. We just need the lawyers to just start, like, doing, like, if he's got like, bro, Lawyers cost money, you know. Mm. <laughs> you know? Definitely. <laughs> like whatever. So like, it is just what it is. But as far as like, as far as the platforms, as far as going forward, yeah, like you said, we need to start rearranging the thinking. Rearranging we need to start. the way it is. Yeah. yeah. So basically, like when you're uploading any of your content, so if you give your basically artists need to know that if you give your content to a platform, you need to now ask back permission. For your copyright when you now upload it. Well, yourself. no, 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 no. So directly, any platform you know, you're on, any platform you're on, immediately. If, they, if you're on a platform where your music's getting monetized, you need to get an agreement. You straight away. That's the bottom line. Yeah. Any platform yeah. you're on, right this second, everybody that's on a platform you need can to start know, doing yeah. that. If you so want if help, you want to do anything with deal stuff. Get on to my note, and, and we'll try to spread it out as we can. But the moment, mm-hmm. like I said, the forms are filled, and there's a bunch of people in there, bro, and it's not going over one one set of things and it, like I said this is turned bigger than man thought it would and I'm honestly saying this it's, I'll be, I've will be i slept two hours for the last three nights like and that's just the amount of handling like people just not want to know what it is and what's happened Cause the, and now I'm starting to actually because you remember I've, not, I've known certain things for a minute innit? Like, I knew certain things but I didn't know this extent so in other words I've always kind of known that these lot were taking a piss mm. but I didn't know like the extent but my taking a piss was yeah of course you're uploading videos Oh, yeah, maybe but I didn't they, know maybe, they was taking your copyright. Yeah. Does that make sense? I maybe thought, they need more artists to have more platforms like this because then go. they'll be more compassionate because they can more kind of relate to artists and what it means to them to get their go. stuff uploaded. They, yeah, 100%. I feel like there's a disconnect. Also, it's with, it's with about the fans them. as well. Do you get what I'm saying? The fans have to creating, take responsibility you now me? as well. The fans, and this might sound like artists, yeah. the fans have to take responsibility because what it was, you got to realise the fans, the audience is a manufactured also. So no, it's like people say, you know, we, there's audiences that don't do certain things, audiences that don't, don't do certain devices. Mm. But the fans that are with these subscription channels, they need to start jumping ships. They need but, to start yeah, subscribing channels. Yeah, because it's like it's already brainwashed in their heads, though, that they scroll yeah. and go by a view. So you so can be using a good do. video just because tell you it's got a little do. bit of views, but you're going to go to, if it's not on that, you know what I'm saying? Do you know what would be a beautiful thing? I think it would be a beautiful campaign. If we could make 
Every subscriber that's subscribed to any one of those channels, go and subscribe. Make sure they subscribe to at least 10 of their favourite artists today. Yeah? Mm. They would ultimately put all of their 10 favourite artists in but a position... But do it for the month. Yeah, do it so for... So yeah. every day, so every day, everybody has to subscribe to so-and-so. Yeah. Then the next day, everyone subscribe yeah. to so-and-so. Yes. Then the next day, everyone subscribe yes. to so-and-so. Yes. And that is cool. It's, that's like, you know, building generational wealth and all the... first day, subscribe to RTM. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's called building each other <laughs> instead of just keep building those... And if, and, do you understand and, what and I'm and saying? And, and, and Imagine now, if everyone now, done if that. If that was done... We would have a fair industry. Exactly. Because then you have, so you would have an audience. That you have, need you said that you were about the printing behavior. Like so you said that that would be gone because now you have musician, label, uh, maybe manager, audience. Right now, audience is being, well. being kept. Does that make sense? That's you, where we are. You said the error was um, was the error of the cameraman. Who do you think it is next? Engineers. Copyright, no, it's copyright, but it's all the copyrights and licensing now. NFT. Yes, but it's not just NFTs, it's copyright, licensing, so ownership. You said it was yes. the DJs, you said it was error of the DJ, error of the cameraman's, error and now of it's the... Copy, it's the copyright era. It's the, cool. it's the ownership era. It's, it's the, the ownership era, yeah. It's, it's that era. And we're going to be here for a minute. And it's what, it's what, it's like, it's like, it's like, what, te- you got, all you got to look at is what technology is going to do next. Ownership. So you said, I've always screamed ownership, literally. But that's out of our ignorance, and that's why we're here. That's why we're here. Yeah. But all we've got to look at is where technology goes. So wherever technology is going next is where things are going to be. So people, it's not exactly going to be a whole NFT metaverse thing, but it's more about how things are being done. Mm. So like, so when you look at how, like, I'll be honest with you, like, I've had situations where, and this is why I say, like, I'm, my mind, I'm in this zone, I've been, and that's why I say, these lot are getting the brunt of something because I've been ready to go for a little minute. When I came back around with all this, listen, I, had a, I had a situation with a comic, like, a couple of years ago, where I was doing it with a guy, and he was doing some writing for me. And when we was going to release it, like as we're releasing the comic, he keeps on taking credit for things. And I'm realising, why is he taking mm-hmm. credit for that? So um, I think I told you this, didn't I? And um, as I'm, like, every so, he makes a guy that I was in, I was in the play drama with him. And then he comes along and says, yo, he wants to do some writing with me. And, but I know he wants to get into Hollywood. So he's only using the comics so we can, because that's comics are the quick way into Hollywood. I'm letting out the back now. The reason, like, one of the reasons I'm doing comics is a quick way into writing. So a lot of, a lot of actors will use like comic writing and things like that to get into film script writing. Like, where's it? So he wants to get involved with the comic. But as he's getting involved, I said to him, okay, the first one's already written, but you're going to do the edits. And then so we can write the second one together. So he's done the re edits for the second one. But as we're advertising it, he keeps on, I keep on saying, like, at Rockstar Games, like, advertising it, a couple of comic companies. But my name's not popping up. It's just, oh, this wonderful piece of work from Ronan. I don't want to say his name, but this wonderful piece of work from this guy. I forget, I don't know. What's happening there? But as time's going on, I'm realizing he's kind of like having me off like the talented monkey. Like, He's got the idea, he's done the work, but this guy's, you know, no, I had the idea and the artist, but he's the one that's really driving it forward, mm. yeah? So now after that now, as we're starting to get to release it, I'm realizing this guy's gonna take the piss. So I just wanna kind of use him to, I can understand like if my team's ready, because he's got all the connections, he's got the image, so I wanna use him to. So when I realize it's ready, after that now, I fuck him off. But then he starts talking lawyers, court, what he owned. And I said, mm. Lord Clark, look at that. If I would've kept you for a few months more, Lord Clark, you would have took my thing from me. Hmm. And then it made me fall back. That's why I thought I said, no, I need to just do what I'm doing and come and come again. But then I realised, hold on, Mike, this is what's going on. So even before this happened, I already got my brain. I already said to myself, I've never had a record deal. Hmm. I'm getting old. What the fuck? You see, I want everything back. I said that for a while. I sit on the internet and say, what? <laughs> what? I want everything back. And my mind was already in there. So I was already ready. To take, I was ready to go for it, like, like what you did. I was ready to get, yeah, you know. So, but I, but, 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 but I was, but, but, but I was getting ready to do it officially. I was getting ready to do it officially. I was getting ready to face, go, go, get the. And I, that's yeah, that's I why I had Jamal's people. This year. <laughs> so, that's you my no, but I'm saying that that's why I had Jamal's people because that was the plan. When I had Jamal's people, I'm saying, okay, we're gonna go get everything back. So when this has happened, I'm saying, yeah, I'm already ready to kind of do this, does that make sense? Mm. Mm. But I wasn't ready for all of this. I wasn't ready to see like, right, this is so, this is it's, it's, it's this. But I was ready to take my things back and say, yo, I want my copyright. Mm. So yeah, that's the plan. Just have a, a level playing field where everyone's playing on the same playing field and everyone's got the information. And then if there's channels that can be created which can provide services that go along with that, like mm. analytic services that all the youths are privy to all of the time, then that's what we need going forward. Mm. Okay, cool. No, you want to go to the toilet? No, I want. I want you to make sure that you've had your. So your is that that is that? Yeah. Yeah. You got nothing else. Thanks for um, listening or whatever. Thank you, though, mate, for coming yeah. too. Yeah. Thank you. Get me. You know, you. We yeah. always got flowers for you at every 
Thank you. You know what I mean? The man snapped me out of it. He, I phoned him. Come on. Because Paz nearly had me. But I said, yo, all right. Oh, up. yeah. He <laughs> phoned me, he phoned me. Like, I was at the gym. He phoned me. He's like, you know what? I'm going to go on um, Winners Talking on Wednesday. He says. Yeah. I said, okay. But I was, you, I was, I was like in the middle of my set, innit? So I was like, all right. Because he's like, basically, because obviously my man had Rashid in it, so they wanted to get the replay. So I've done my set, obviously, three plates, you get me, mm. boom. And I can still see my hit you get me? <laughs> boom. Three plates, you get me sixties on his side, power man thing, boom now. Then I've, I realise all in a minute, did that man just tell me he's going on my man's thing? So I phoned him, like, yo, my, what are going Like, mm. where are you going to go on there? That's mind games. I said, I'm making you no know, plans on mind games. He just wants to exclude. Why has he even got my man, then yeah, got you? Then got why you. didn't he get you? Like, why didn't he phone you first? Or, Listen, just come to you, better, better. You get what I'm saying? The man said, no, no, no like, just come, come to my yard. At the time it was cold, because then, then, then when the trailer came, I'm like, all right. See? Cool. And then when the trailer cool. came, I said to him, see? They and you was going to go and sit down with them boy there. Mm. And they got man on some joke sure business. I'm his name said that Rashid contacted him, though, didn't mm. he? Did he? Mm. He said that, though, innit? Rashid actually contacted but him. But I tell you, it was the energy in the room. Like, Pals yeah, were even there, man. Like, the fact like that it was, him, was more the fact you showed that trailer was the first thing. That was the first thing. Yeah. Cool, you didn't need to do that. Cool. Whatever. Uh, but Pal, in the room, you weren't getting mad. He was keeping it kind yeah, of... Mad a bit still a couple of times. No. But if it was me, I'd be looking but, at that like you're getting mad a bit. But, it, but that's just with but, different people. But it was the energy. You're, 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 you're able to give my more leeway. It was, a, it was a general energy in the it room. Depends mm. on the story. And my man, I'm like, all right, cool, I'm a clown. Fine. Doug was just laughing, laughing you out. Yeah, I'm just fine. Yeah, yeah, Doug was just laughing you out. You get me? And that's the first time I've seen it, that that. Yeah, that's fine, fine, that's fine, that's cool, that's cool. I did thought he was a bit loud. Maybe, I don't know if that's how they act all the time, but yeah. No, he was laughing out, Mike, you get me? Like, he was, but anyway, I'm not stuck, my madness, but yeah, boom. Thanks for, I hope you enjoyed the circus today. You get what I'm saying, car? Man didn't want Mike to come on the podcast show because it's too much of a circus, where, where, where. I'm looking at the wrong um, camera, yeah? Boom. Yeah, so. No, big up though, my brother. Yeah, oh, thank you. My assist, you get me? But yeah, follow the queen. Follow the Ice queen. Ice cream, the poster girl, Instagram. Follow my business page, poster girl underscore lashes. Queen Ice Cream, Twitter, Queen Ice Cream TV on YouTube, you know the vibes. Follow me at big underscore bad underscore spray on Instagram, at young underscore spray on Twitter. Follow the page at RTM Podcast Show. And the clothing at RTM Clothing Original, www.reallythemost.com. Follow my big brother on Instagram if you want to hear his Before, madness. If you can, if you, if you feel that, if you've had any videos uploaded to any channels and you feel that your copyright's been taken or you should have been entitled to monetization, please go on my page. There's a, a link to the form. Just click on the form. The form will be filled out. We'll look at the form. Um, someone will reply to you. We kind of look if it's actually a valid case first. Um, my lawyer will look for it, and then someone will reply to you. So we're going to keep that running for about another week. So uh, yeah. What's your mic? Mic DLC. So that not really the most creamy can go to the toilet. Toilet, say excuse me. <laughs> <laughs>